Alright ladies and gents, as ever, my name is Shane, that's Shane is Games, and tonight we're going to be playing some Tex Murphy, The Tesla Effect. This won't be our first time playing it, so if you want to see how we got to where we are tonight, or check out some of the other games I've played in the past, be them obscure, unusual, or nostalgic, feel free to check out my YouTube channel. But for tonight, let's go ahead and get into the game. So, a uh, quick recap, so... Ooh, it's Zikat! Zikat, holy crap, thank you for 35 months! At tier 2, Zincat, that is super generous of you, and that means a ton. I really appreciate that, and it has always been a pleasure having you here with us as well, Zink. Thank you for all the support. It means a ton, really. Uh, so, let's see. So, let's go ahead and, uh, <laughs> denied. <laughs> uh, so, let's go ahead and summarize where we're at. So, this takes place seven years after the previous game, Tex Murphy Overseer. Uh, what happens is at the very beginning of this game, Tex got bonked on the head, as he do. And, excuse me, got amnesia. And now can't remember anything that happened in the seven years between this overseer. Um, all he knows is that A, Chelsea is missing and presumed dead. And that B, uh, he apparently was busy during those seven years. Uh, doing some sort of gritty revenge quest, possibly? We're not sure. He's still trying to find out, as we are too. So Tex has been trying to investigate what he's been up to and what specifically he was working on most recently. This has kind of tied him into some sort of conspiracy about uh, Tesla's missing papers, Nikola Tesla's missing papers. And most recently, he has gone after his strongest lead for the whereabouts of Tesla's papers. And all that he has found is a dead, decapitated body, which is where we leave off right now. So, uh, brace yourself for a little bit of horror. <laughs> Let's see. Torn episodes of Super Sentai? I do I do that. That is through fan subs of them as well. Three years? How wild is that, Chris? That's pretty nuts. John, three and a half months of your life spent here. I hope you've enjoyed them. Most definitely. LTG, month and a half? That's incredible. Holy crap. And Mr. Lurker, welcome in. How are you doing today, Mr. Lurker? Hope you are doing good. God, I remember uh, getting uh, Brazilian episodes of Invader Zim through uh, IRC. <laughs> Back in the bad old days. <laughs> Zigcat month and a half? Gamagumo month and a half? Holy crap, that's intense. Mostly lurking. Enjoy your lurk, Mr. Lurker. Alright, so we already... Alright, do we have to go in the bathroom again? Seems like it didn't save with that having taken place. Nope, alright, so... Well, I think I found Margaret Leonard. Well, most of her. So, there is unfortunately the person we came in to find, and she is very dead and very headless. So, you know, that's, that's bad. Uh, nothing else to see in here, unfortunately. That back out into the hallway? That is back out into the hallway. Or is there anything else to see in here? I don't think there is. Uh, oh, we needed a thumb drive to put in there. Right, right. Uh, let's take a quick look at our inventory. What have we got so far? Uh, we've got eight baseball cards. Uh, we have a warning about disease caused by cryogenic sleep state. Uh, we've got something where someone was named T was accusing Mason of being a traitor. Uh, let's see. We've got a fax from Carl Carlos Maldonado to Mason saying, looks like Margaret Leonard is going rogue. Uh, let's see. We've got the picture of Margaret Leonard. Let's see. We've got a picture of someone named Mantis who we haven't met before. And we've got a business card that says St. Germain, which we don't know much about that either. Right, let's take a quick look around here, see if there's anything else we need to grab before we take off. I don't think so, though. We do need... Something under there? No, it's just a... Stool just leaning up against the window. That's weird. Uh, we, we do need some sort of thumb drive, I think, to interface with our video thing. We don't have one of those yet. Looks like Margaret Leonard had a video journal. 
I'll need to find a memory stick to use on the vid player to watch them. Quite possible that whoever busted in here took that, which is unfortunate. So we'll have to see what we can do. Private eye slash dance instructor, that is true. Alright, Rin, what do you got? Ah, yes, yes. Have you bought a game on multiple platforms because you've forgotten there was a sale? Yes, please. If anyone here isn't using Play Night, click that link. It is one of my favorite pieces of software. It is just a uh, neutral library for your games. So if you have games from multiple stores, Steam, Epic, GOG, whatever, you can just aggregate them all there. It's super convenient and uh, it's free. And I love it. I love it so much. I'm actually uh, following it on Patreon, supporting it on Patreon. So it's good stuff. <laughs> Try it out. It is fantastic. I love it. And Rin, thank you so much for pimping that out. I appreciate that. He was a boss fight in Castlevania the Curse of Darkness. Yeah, we have run into a uh, Saint Germain at least once in here. <laughs> Itch, I, O, E, A. Basically any one of those digital storefronts you can think of. Oh, hello. Well, hello, boys. Mr. Murphy, you need to come with us if you want to live. Seriously? Just kidding. What was going on in there? <sighs> you know the drill. Damn Why it. do so many people around you end up dead? Uh, so every time we bump into a dead body, the cops are there. Tex has the worst luck in this game. Oh yeah, John, thank you. The new Prey is currently free on Epic if anybody wants it. Good game. And very cool thing to have for free. Uh. Well, it's not because I kill them, if that's what you're implying. Well, at least not usual. Did you kill Margaret Leonard? <laughs> Come on, Danwich. If I killed her, what did I do with her head? Eat it? But we keep walking in on you with all these dead bodies. You must be the unluckiest guy in the world. Whoever off Margaret Leonard either hated her guts or was completely bonkers. I mean, why would someone decapitate her? I don't care why, I just want to know who. Wait a second, how do we even know it's Margaret Leonard? I mean, maybe that's why they took the head. Yeah, that might have worked a hundred years ago, but now we've got apps for that. We've already got a positive ID. It's kind of fun, isn't it? I mean, kind of working together, uh, bouncing ideas, sharing information. I mean, what if I said I had some information that might help your investigation? I'd say you were withholding evidence. No, I said I might have something. No, you said you had something that might help. Yeah, oops. Look, Dan, would you seem like a stand-up guy, and I know you don't want any vigilantism, so I'll play it by the book. I think I have video that might have been shot by the guy who killed Margaret Leonard. I'm just gonna hand it to you and hope you'll cut me some slack. It's on your smart, Alex. Let's have it. The guy in the video is Mason Bowers. And this is the guy you think was abducted. The problem is there's no evidence of anyone being abducted, so I can't investigate. My hands are tied. Well, mine, as you see, are not. I may have seen this guy before on some kind of surveillance video. A surveillance video, you say? The video could have shown you in your apartment talking to an elderly lady. There may have been another man there as well, a mutant of some kind, who might have jumped you. The elderly lady, in theory, could have appeared to have injected you when you were restrained. In the ensuing struggle, you 
might have been knocked out on the fire escape. And when would Bowers have shown, hypothetically? Right after you were knocked out, tore through the apartment in pursuit of the old lady. So everything that I've told you matches up, and we're both looking for Mason Bowers. Are you familiar with a program called VCT, Vehicle Compliance Tracking? All cars come with sensors that report when one is out of compliance. For example, when you have your right front headlight shot out, if you could access the VCT database, which is illegal and highly inadvisable, you would find a list of all vehicles with the right front headlight shot out. If you could provide more information on the vehicle, you can access an ID and an address from the registration. Any chance this might have been the vehicle seen in the Maldonado surveillance video? You solve this Bowers Leonard case for me. I might even see what I could do about getting that case file for you, the one from seven years ago. All right, now we're getting somewhere. Interesting, interesting. Let's see. Zcat Man Eater is part of Humble Choice. Oh, the game looks so good. I saw someone stream that. It looked like an absolute hoot. 511 is a good number. I like that number. Sounds nice. <laughs> Did we just become best friends? I think we did. I think we actually managed to worm our way into his heart. It's charming. All right. Uh, hey, do you know anything about Zach Williams? I know who Zach Williams is and who his associates are. I'd advise you to keep your distance. That's the electronic shop guy. The running gag is that he's uh, mobbed up, as they say in here. Uh, do you recognize the woman in this photo? Hmm. Don't recognize the face. Sorry. That's okay, I'm on it. Uh, how about this photo of Margaret Leonard? That's Margaret Leonard? I'll have to take your word for it. Oh, yeah, I didn't really see her face because of decapitation. Gotcha. Uh, anything more you can tell me about the suspicious speeder? A speeder with a broken headlight on the front passenger side? No idea what you're talking about. <laughs> all right, all right, I'll get out of here. As soon as I got back from the new San Francisco Police Department, I had an urgent message from Rook. It seems Rook had a soft spot for Margaret and wanted to bring her some justice. He told me he had another interested party in the Tesla cash, a Count St. Germain, who was staying at the Golden Gate Hotel. Maybe he could divulge some answers. One hears a great deal about Tex Murphy on Chandler Avenue. To what do I owe this pleasure? Word is you're a big fan of Nikola Tesla, or at least his stuff. Yes. Your local pawn shop has a remarkably extensive offering of Tesla paraphernalia. Certainly the largest cash I've found this side of Belgrade. You mind if I ask what your interest is in Tesla? I gather you're at least somewhat familiar with the story of the Tesla cash? I believe some of the items Rook has were part of the Tesla cash but he refuses to divulge how he obtained them. I presume from Margaret Leonard, or some third party who got them from her. Oh, shocking. Rook normally would cut off his right arm if he thought somebody would buy it. I've spent many years searching for something. My hope is to find a clue as to its whereabouts in Tesla's letters or journals. But the trail has led me here. Tell me, Mr. Murphy, do you know the name J.T. Donnelly? Yeah. I mean, I just heard about it, but he was a P.I. and he lived around here back in the 1940s. At the Ritz, in the very room in which you now live. An intriguing connection. Yeah, I mean, it's interesting and uh, maybe a little weird, but it's, it's not a connection. <laughs> but it's so much more than that. Back in Donnelly's time, there was a man known as the Sleeping Prophet, Edgar Casey. He made a compelling case for the belief that most of us have lived past lives. You're losing me. Come now. You've said on more than one occasion that you felt as if you'd been born a century too late. A man out of time, as it were. Tell me, 
Do you have disturbingly realistic, vivid dreams of another era? What? You know about my dreams? I must be getting incredibly broad-minded in my old age. So what are you saying? Ah, I was J.T. Donnelly in a former life. We could explore that possibility, but first, have eggs ever appeared in your dreams? Oh, I, I love eggs, of course. Uh, poached, uh, over easy, scrambled. I mean, they're certainly nature's wonder food. There are affordable accommodations in better parts of the city. Something could have been drawing you specifically to the Ritz. Don't you agree? Yeah, cheap rent. Could you maybe help me out with these memories? Uh, help me interpret these dreams? If you could find this egg, or even put me on its trail again, I have certain techniques, such as regression and channeling, that could help you recall past events. And, I should add, the egg is worth a fortune. Which I would gladly pay. We talk for a few minutes longer, but I tell him I need to get back to the case. This is way beyond my comprehension. Mystical eggs? Mind regression? Past lives? It's boggling. Margaret spoke of an egg being held by a religious fanatic who prays. Was it the Tesla egg I found in the wall at the Ritz? If so, it would have been there for over a hundred years. Does it have some sort of channeling power from the person who possessed it? Well, Mason Bowers is still the key. I need data for the VCT so I can find out who kidnapped him. I better start asking around. Time for some good old-fashioned detective work. You should talk to potential witnesses and see if they know anything about the suspicious vehicle involved with the abduction. All right. We need to get more information about the car that was here on the night of the abduction. We could do that. We caught up on shit right here. I like the way they talk in a way not to implicate themselves. It was very cunning. They were very cautious right there. Excuse me. I think Rose played it? Awesome, awesome. That wasn't the person I was thinking of, but it does seem like a very Rose game right there, which is awesome. <laughs> hey, Rook's Honor, welcome in. How are you doing today? I should use fancy brandy snifters. I've thought about using different glasses, but I just go through so much, I just have to get huge glasses is the thing here, I think. <laughs> Alright. So where do we want to start? Uh, well, I suppose we should see if Holly's in right now. She is. Let's see if Holly knows anything. Start down at this end. Hey, Tex. How's your case progressing? Uh, hey, what do you know about this Count St. Germain guy? Due to my restrictive protocols, I can only confirm that Count St. Germain is currently a guest at our hotel. Alright, uh, how about that suspicious speeder the other day? You're talking about the speeder I saw take off after the shooting? What I can tell you for certain is the last two digits on the license plate. They were the numbers six and three. All right, last two digits were six and three. Got it, got it, that's a big help. Thank you. Hey, Warden, welcome in. Hope you were having a fantastic holiday. How are you doing today, Warden? How's your weekend? All right, so next up, uh, let's stop into three cards to midnight. Actually, he wouldn't have been around, probably not. Well, check in there, You know, though. Murph, I think we make a great team. What can I do for you? He's so much shorter than Murphy. Holy crap. Uh, let's see. What can you tell me about this photo of Margaret Leonard? Uh, that's the most recent photo of Margaret Leonard I could find. Like I said, she's been out of circulation for a while. Uh, let's see. Uh, what else can you tell me about Margaret Leonard? She's dead? And she was living right here for years! How do you always find yourself right in the middle of everything? <laughs> you have a gift, my friend. I'd return it if I could. Uh, do you know anything about Edward, Edward Casey? <laughs> He'd go on into these weird trances and talk about past life stuff. You know, pretty intriguing until you get to where he starts going on about Atlantis. Wow, conspiracies that even Archie doesn't believe. That's wild. Be like you can see them? Yeah, you definitely can with some of these people. Some of them are very clearly reading off either cue cards or a teleprompter. 
blew his knees off. Oh, God. You'd think he'd be a little bit more irritated with us if that's the case. <laughs> Overate yesterday and still recovering from it. I hope it was tasty enough to make it worth your while, though, Warden. Uh, hey, do you know anything about Count Saint Germain? Uh, we were talking about some stuff. Uh, Tesla, Romanovs, Fabergé, that sort of thing. He sure seems to know a lot about everything. Uh, did you see that suspicious speeder the other day? Uh, no. What are they asking? All right, thanks. All right, where to next? Let's see if Cliff is in. Maybe he saw something. Cliff is in. Wow, that is crazy what happened to Margaret Leonard. Is everything okay with you and the cops? Yeah, the cops would love to pin it on me, but I think it's all tied to a Mason Bowers who was abducted outside the Ritz a couple of nights ago. I'm just trying to find anybody who might have seen something. Oh, well, then you probably need to talk to Sapphire. Sapphire? Sounds like some Greek oracle. Well, I don't know if she's Greek or not, but she's definitely exotic looking. And she's one of your fellow tenants. Her door's decorated like a French nightmare, but it suits her business. So... If you hear any noises you can't identify, you might want to come back later. Does this guy have pancake on his face? So apparently, like, he had an eye patch in the previous game, and Tex made a reference that he's done some DIY plastic surgery involving a tire repair kit. <laughs> Which is just bizarre. I love it. Fantastic mind-blowing value. I think this game actually looks very aesthetically pleasing. I like it a lot. Something like 6'7", holy crap, dude's huge. Also, Ashness, welcome in. How are you doing today? Hope everything is going well. Uh, so, do you know anything else about Margaret Leonard? It's a damn shame what happened to that little lady. And I'm not crazy about what it did to her apartment, either. Yeah, it's not the part I'm worried about, but thanks. Um, did you see that speeder the other day? Not a clue. Thank All right, thanks. I'll go see if I can talk to Sapphire, then. See what she knows about it. I know there was... An apartment back here labeled Sapphire. Rather gaudily. Sapphire domineering escort. <laughs> uh, let's see if she's in today. Well, this is a nice surprise. Sapphire. What a beautiful, if somewhat misleading, name. Thanks, Tex. You know just what to say to please a lady. Um. Wow, is that a, uh, what kind of contraption is that? Tex, don't pry. So, what brings New San Francisco's sexiest PI to my door? Business or pleasure? She's actually taller than Tex. We were just saying how this dude is 6'7 and she's taller than him. That's insane. Let's start with business. How disappointing. Well, we could use that home gym in there to work off some stress. I'm sure you wouldn't mind a happy ending, if you know what I mean. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, that's, that's all anybody wants, right? I mean, and they lived happily ever after, that kind of thing. <sighs> Fine. You don't want to scratch each other's backs. But what if I don't play ball? Can we still rough and tumble? Well, Sapphire, don't make me twist your arm. Oh. <laughs> you can't make me talk. <laughs> we can do this the hard way or the easy way. Excuse me? Are you threatening me? Because if you are, I'd love to see you try the hard way. <laughs> I'm sorry, Tex. I got carried away. I didn't mean to hurt you. At least not like that. Do you forgive me? <laughs> well, Tex is a little out of his element right here, is what I'm sensing. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Not until I give you a good, firm interrogation. God. I'm all yours, Mr. Murphy. <clears throat> God, there's so many entendres. It's not even double. It's at least quadruple and quintuple, quintuple at this point. It's madness. <laughs> All right. 
Let's go with her and start asking questions. Let's ask about us first. You're a tough guy who thinks he's above the law. What girl doesn't like to get a little turned on by that kind of man? Judging by Texas love life, literally none of them. Uh, how about this hotel? It's not the nicest place in town, but you can't beat the prize. It's a live and let live kind of place. Uh, hey, you see that shop across the street three cards to midnight? That's not my kind of store. I'm not sure whose store it is, aside from Archie's, that's fair. Uh, do you know Taylor Laments? What's she got that I don't? I can tell you one thing that I've got that she doesn't. We don't need to go there, let's, let's move on, let's move on. Uh, how about Louie? Do you know Louie? Gets along with everybody. Makes great food. Yeah, this is actually 100% true. <laughs> So the person who plays Sapphire helped do casting for Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. Holy crap. So not just in the acting biz. I, I wouldn't be surprised. It seems like a, a theme in FMV games that at least some of the people doing the acting in there are just doing it as a favor. <laughs> so I would, that, that does not surprise me at all. Uh, let's see. Hey, do you know anything about my memory loss? I only met you a couple years ago. So I don't know what you were like before. But I like what I see now. It ain't just your ass that's bad. Wait, was that a compliment or was that a... I'm just gonna move on. Uh, how about Holly Graham down the street? So spunky. And I love spunk. We're moving on! <laughs> uh, do you know Mason Bowers? That's the guy you think got abducted? I saw him around a few times coming to see you. I thought. All right, so we suspected that he'd been talking to Tex. So that's confirmation there. Wigs as Apollo. I think so. Or possibly wigs as pauldrons, if you want to go that route. I'm not sure, but those do look like wigs down there. It's a hell of a fashion statement. <laughs> uh, do you know anything about Maldonado's surveillance uh, gig? He's been videotaping the Ritz. Yeah, unfortunately. Don't worry, he's dead. Uh, do you know anything about the man himself, though? That scumbag detective has been watching me for months. Yeah, you and everybody else, unfortunately. Um, do you know Zach Williams? Runs the electronic shop, though he's hardly ever there. Uh, how about Rook? Rook's one of my best customers. His tastes aren't as old-fashioned as you might think. I did not need to know any of that. And I wish that I had never heard that because that's going to live with me. Oh, God. <laughs> let's, let's, just, let's just move on. Uh, do you know Inspector Burns? But that place will literally kill you. Yeah, that's true. Don't actually eat there, please. <laughs> but she knowing is half the battle. I'm losing that battle is the problem. <laughs> uh, do you know Clint? After Clint took over ownership of the Ritz from Nilo, things got a lot better. He even removed all the bugs and hidden cameras. He's a good dude, it seems like. Honestly. <laughs> uh, hey, do you recognize the woman in this photo? No idea who that is. Yeah, that's fine. We'll, we'll keep working on it. Uh, do you know anything about the freeze gun? Now, what would I know about that? I have no idea. Honestly, I just want the points I get from asking you things. Uh, do you know anything about Margaret Leonard? That sweet lady used to live here. Yeah, now she's not living anywhere, unfortunately. Uh, do you know anything about that abduction the other day? First, I hear people running around up in your apartment... Then, this speeder lands outside. I hear some man yelling and screaming outside the Ritz. Then, he runs off with some other people chasing him. After a bit, he comes back, and I hear him outside my window. Sounds like he's talking to himself. Then, two other guys catch him, shove him into the speeder. Then, I hear gunshots, and the speeder takes off. So why would he leave and then come back if he was being chased like that? That's kind of odd. Uh, did you see anything about the speeder that night? It looked black. Or midnight blue at first. But when the light hit it just right, hmm, I could see that it was actually close to Sapphire. Which, of course, I would remember. Naturally, naturally. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and make a note of that real quick. So... 
It's sapphire blue. Cool, cool. That's a clue as well. This is a line read, so let me tell you, it feels in character. I appreciate that. <laughs> I don't even want to know how long it takes to put on a face like hers. It looks amazing, but it's a ton of work. It must have been exhausting. Luckily, luckily, at least, uh, it's very possible that they would have shot all of her role in one day here. So hopefully she didn't have to do it multiple times. Because, whoo, whoo. Um, you do know she's a he, right? With the strength of ten ordinary men. Shut up, smart Alex. No one's asking you. All right. So that's a little bit more in information there. That's good. That's good. All right. Let's continue canvassing the streets. See what else we can get here. Yeah, if they have a professional. And I imagine they would probably have to have some sort of professional for some things on this. Since this is, you know, a professional photo shoot and whatnot. Or professional uh, video uh, production and whatnot. Let's see if a rook's got anything. Hello, Murphy. Uh, how goes the investigation? Let's see if you can help me out. Do you know Count uh, St. Germain? Interesting fellow. He was particularly interested in anything to do with Nikola Tesla. He mentioned that he stayed at the Golden Gate Hotel. Yeah, we were acquainted. Uh, do you know any... Can you tell me anything more about Margaret Leonard? I'm quite certain she was on the run from someone or something. I took care of her as much as she'd let me. I'm very sad she's gone. Oh, Rook, I'm sorry. Uh, is there anything more you can tell me about the Tesla cash? Yes, I'm sure that Margaret's items came from the Tesla cash. Though the pieces she gave me to sell weren't nearly as valuable as rumors would have you believe. Interesting, all right. Uh, did you see that speeder the other day? The uh, a speeder that flew away after the gunshots I heard? I'm not sure what type it was, but I did notice that the interior was very unusual. It was uh, all white. All right, white interior. That definitely does help narrow it down, and that is super weird. Basically, text stumbling around his local neighborhood like a drunk after... <laughs> I mean, that's kind of how most of the text for games go. All white. All right, thank you, Rook. I appreciate that. Let's go talk to Zack, though. Since Zack is mobbed up, he will probably be telling us... Not again. You're going to get me fired. Or worse... He'll probably just tell me that he didn't see nothing. Uh, anything you can tell me about Margaret Leonard? I remember her. Sweet little old lady. Used to see her around the neighborhood years ago. Don't remember the last time I saw her. Uh, did you see that speeder the other day? Yeah, there was a speeder that took off right after the gunshots. Saw it in my rearview mirror. I got a thing for high-end speeders. This was a 48 Pandium. Sweet ride. All right, 48 Pandion. Was that, yeah, that was a speeder that took off right after the gunshots. Saw it in my rearview mirror. I got a thing for high-end right. speeders. This was a 48 Pandion. Sweet ride. All right, thank you for that, Zach. Much appreciated. Getting forced fed the barbecue? That would probably be, you know... I won't say a fate worse than death, because it probably literally is just death. But there is that. <laughs> Still can't believe I'm working with the one and only Tex Murphy. Hey there, buddy. What can buddy. I do for you, sir? Uh, do you know anything about Margaret Leonard? That's the witch. At least that's what I call her. Couple times I've seen this old lady sneaking around the neighborhood. Uh, did you see a suspicious meter the other day? Would if I could. Yeah, nothing. Inspector Burns Barbecue. Yeah, he was a very minor character in some of the other Tex Murphy games. Now he's running a barbecue joint that apparently kills people because it's way too dangerous uh, with uh, the heat. Burn your eyeballs off. Working for the IRS for all eternity? I would not enjoy that, that's for sure. Welcome in, Nuddle Masher. How are you doing today? I hope you don't mind, Mife. I've been telling folks in the neighborhood about your situation, just so they know it's the old text they're dealing with. Let me know what else I can do for you. I appreciate it, Louie. You're good people. Uh, what can you tell me about Clint? That Clint's really come up in the wild. Though I still hide the chocolate cake when he drops by. I don't want him falling back into his uh, old ways. That's fair. That's fair. 
Um, do you know anything about that freeze gun? You got me there, Moist. It's okay, I just wanted the points. Um, do you know anything about those weird dreams I've been having? I know you was having bad dreams way back when. But I didn't hear nothing else about them after, you know, the thing with Chelsea happened. That's fair. And hang on just a second there, because... Hey, Geek Boy, thank you for a two-year resub there, Geek Boy. What the what? How has it been two years already? Time flies when you're having a blast. Geek Boy, thank you so much for two years worth of support. I appreciate the hell out of that, Geek Boy, and it has been a pleasure having you around. Sincerely, thank you for that. And welcome in. How is your uh, weekend going? How is your holiday as well? I hope everything was going good. Oh, Fellowship. Nice, nice, Nuttle Masher. Very good. And hey, Shira. Welcome in, Shira. How is your weekend going? How's your holiday going if you celebrate? Hope everything is good with you. Merry Shlopsmas! Merry Shlopsmas to you. The most magical time of year, I believe. That's a good one, right? Can't complain other than the usual failure to win the lottery. Dang it. Next year. Next year's the one. I'm feeling this one. <laughs> Alright, uh, Louie, do you know anything about Margaret Leonard? Oh, I know this little lady. I haven't seen her around in quite a while, but she used to come in pretty regular. I think she lived at the Ritz, at least for a time. She and Chelsea were real friendly. That's an interesting wrinkle. Pretty sure her name wasn't Margaret Leonard, though. At least that ain't the name she told me. Huh. Name wasn't Margaret Leonard. What does that mean? That's a detail we hadn't learned before there. Um, do you know anything about Count St. Germain? A big guy? Uh, talks like he should be on the radio. That's the one. Yeah, he came in the other day. Didn't seem too impressed with my, uh, cuisine. How rude! And hey, did you see the speeder? So this is the speeder you think took off after those gunshots and the abduction the other day. I do remember seeing a vehicle. I didn't get the license plate or nothing. I just saw it was one of them nice Pandians. The Bi-Turbo XL model. All right, a little bit more detail right there, so I'll take that. Thanks. Well, I finally gather enough data to identify the kidnap vehicle. It's registered to a company called Seisan, and the location appears on my map. Oh, apparently I didn't need to write down any of that. Interesting. <laughs> all right, all right, we can do that. <laughs> Rin, that's awesome. I do love that emote. Don't jinx it. Sorry, DB Stewart. Welcome in, DB Stewart. How are you doing today? Hope you are having a fantastic weekend as well. And Gamma Gumo, I see, has invested in a Harvester sequel. That is a beautiful thing. See, we're going around the neighborhood right now in this game, and we're gathering up information about this car, this mysterious car. And realistically, that's what we'd have to do if we wanted to get a Harvester game made. We need to go around gathering up ideas, gathering up funds, gathering up the best of the best in the games industry, because you can't have anything less when working on a Harvester sequel. It would take a lot of work. It would be an epic quest. They'd have to make a documentary after documentary about it. It would be a beautiful thing. This is all hypothetical, though. Those points don't actually mean anything, and I have no control over this process, but we're just brainstorming here. We're just brainstorming, you know. We gotta dream that dream right there, most definitely. Thank you for redeeming those points. I appreciate that. I want to believe, too, John. I do believe. I do believe. <laughs> All right. And yes, Zig, play night. Play night. It is good stuff. I cannot recommend it enough. All right, so let's go ahead and save before we head out. And then let's hop in that speeder. And we're going to Saison. I check out Saison with Smart Alex and find out it's some sort of doomsday cult recruiting candidates for a brave new world. And they believe this world will arrive soon. These boys take their schoolwork seriously. All right, so that's worrying. When powers unite, that's a beautiful thing, DB Stewart. 
All right, so infiltrating a doomsday cult. This sounds like a lovely idea. What do we got over here? Nice little wishing well, but a couple of pieces of equipment are missing. Oh, there's something inside that bucket at the bottom of the well. All right, so we got our first puzzle right here, but we're probably going to need to find some more pieces before we can do anything with it. Interesting, interesting. Force field blocking the entrance. I wonder if there's a mechanism around here that can turn it off. I assume so. Let's see what we can find then. Where's my flashlight? There we go. Wow. That was a creepy noise. Alright, so we need some things to get that bucket down there. Let's look around. See if maybe we can find anything in the immediate area. Can't push into the tree line, that makes sense. Uh, how about over here? Wow, the trees are not rendering very well. <laughs> trees are having some trouble figuring out how to render. It's fine. It's fine. Not a path right there. It kind of looked like it was for a second. Go into Shane's money piles and sleep on if only. If only. Oh, here. Hello. Where do we go? Some writing on this pillar. Alright. So that's interesting. Well, there's some interesting symbols written on these pillars. It looks like I can only move the one side. Maybe I have to make a match? It's upside down. Are all these upside down? No, that one's not. Alright, cool. So that one matches. Then this one... I think that's... Alright, that's cool. Alright, we got that one. So then the next one is already correct. And then the last one. Yeah, I thought that. Unless I've been doing this completely wrong, which I might have been. Maybe I need to do it on the outside. That could be a thing. Shoot. All right, let's try it based on the front, then. That could be something. Let's see what else we got here. All right, so that should be that one. Uh, let's see. Spoopy ghost trees? They do make spoopy ghost tree noises, that's true. We don't actually have any way to keep track of that, which I kind of probably should have at some point, but I never thought to, and it's been a lot at this point. <laughs> But yeah, unfortunately, uh, Stream Elements doesn't provide any way to uh, keep track of that. Or, or no, it's Twitch, I suppose. Yeah, Twitch does not provide any way for me to keep track of that. I'm sorry. I wish I did have those numbers, because that would be amazing. Could do it for 2022. Ooh, that's true. We could start then. Never too late to get started, I suppose. Something to think about. Is that the thing? I think that's the thing. A little hard to tell in this light. Alright, last one is that one. Cool. Ah, there we go. Alright. And we can head inside. Problem solved. Unfortunately, I arrive at Say San and set off every alarm possible. I'm missing a token that would grant me entry inside. I head back to my office to devise a new strategy when I find a fax waiting for me. Someone's been watching over my shoulder and it's not a comforting feeling. All right, so I can't get in there yet. You have a fax. But someone sent us a fax. Let's see what this is. Oh boy. Let's see. No return address from a friend. Text, if you actually want to get inside Seisan, 
Meet me at the top of Coit Tower, an old friend. An anonymous informant wants to meet me at Coit Tower. Interesting. All right. I don't know who would have known that I was just popping in there, but somebody did, apparently. Well, we know where Coit Tower is, so let's go ahead over there right now. You just made more... <laughs> I'm sure there's some way to do it automated. I'll have to think about that. That's the way it should be done. There's got to be an automated solution is what I'm thinking there. Harvester running total? I, I think it needs to be something more uh, descriptive. Like, the futility index. <laughs> Which would at least get a laugh out of me. Yeah, an old friend of the sounds extremely suspicious, Rooks. I'm a little concerned somebody might be about to uh, jump kick me off of the top of the tower. I don't like it. I don't like it. Yep, this is a great idea. Just waiting to meet some anonymous chap who still sends faxes. You know, he probably uses real bullets. I think you need to be a little more trusting of people. Tax, tax, I'm plugged into the internet. The internet, and you want me to trust people? A good point. He does have a point there. It's hard to argue with. Alright. Let's go ahead and save the game here, just in case I'm about to die horribly. But we do need a, some sort of a lead here. Let's see what this guy's got for us here. Let's see anything yet, but we still got some stairs to climb here. Alright. Hope this is actually a friend, whoever it is. X isn't very good at self-defense, unfortunately. Hello, mate. Slade? Slade! How? What? Uh, weren't you in... <sighs> Locked up in San Quentin till 2260? No, not me. Good behavior. So Slade was in the previous game, I believe, or he was in one of the previous games. He's a uh, hitman who tried to kill the bejesus out of Tex and came very, very close to pulling it off. So, uh, this is a little worrisome. Well, I'm glad you've turned over a new leaf. I'm a big fan of forgiving and forgetting. Mostly forgetting. So what don't you remember? Uh, just the last seven years. So you don't remember everything after you and Chelsea got nicked? Chelsea's brother? The Englishwoman, Juliet? Our little partnership? Our partnership? Look, I know we just made up, but I think I'd rather lick toilets with my tongue than work with you. Ah, but you did, Tex. I did? Which one? Work with me. And it paid a lot better than licking dunnies. How do you think you made all that money? These past few years have been, shall we say, mutually beneficial. But now it seems the same old Tex, the Boy Scout, is back. That's a problem. You want to know what's wrong with the Boy Scouts? Not a darn thing. So you've been helping us track down this precious little egg. First you say you got it, then you say Margaret Lynn and stole it. Next thing I know, you turn up at Saison tripping security alarms like some clueless amateur. Well, what the hell was that all about? For your information, I set those alarms off on purpose, and I don't have to tell you why. Always got to do everything the hard way, don't you, Tex? This will get you into Saison. I hope you know what you're doing. I'll give you 24 hours to find that egg. And then I'm gonna come looking for you. And you know I'll find you. Well, uh, but yeah, Game of Goom, I was thinking about it now, so I'm pretty sure it was in Overseer. And Overseer is a remake of uh, Texas first case, I believe. Uh, so yeah. 
Yeah, it would be pretty early in Texas' career. Right, let's take a look at what he handed us here. Well, Big Jim Slate is right. This key can get me inside, say, Sam. Oh, well, we don't really have much to go on, so I guess we'll have to give it a shot. Was not expecting to see Slate again. That's terrifying. That guy was terrifying. He was a cool villain, though. I'm glad they were able to get him back. When he was young, innocent, and absolute dweeb, that was kind of a theme of Overseer. The text was just mind-blowingly naive. And kind of needed to go through some terrible stuff to figure out that, uh... You can't always be a Boy Scout, as I have learned here on this stream. Hey, Chenonen, welcome in. This is the place for Meat Checks. Uh, that's actually the slogan of the stream now, the home of Meat Check. So welcome in, Chenonen. How's your weekend going? I guess all the characters can't be wacky. This is true. You gotta have some straight men in there. Some guy in a hat, welcome in. How are you doing today? Hope all is well with you. All right, so let's head right back to Saison then. You can be hung over from things other than alcohol. My meeting with Slade left me shivering like I had the DTs. This guy and I were partners over the last seven years. There's trouble in my soul and it's become as cold as ash. The further I see down the barrel, the more dangerous and diabolical my world becomes. Day five. The Saison Candidate, or Little School of Horrors, Void Juice. <laughs> yeah, Big Jim Slade's clearly the most dangerous character that's ever been in this game, which is just awesome. That makes him a very cool villain, and I'm just really happy they were able to get him back. All right. So we've actually got a key to get in here this time. So that's good. And looks like that's where we put it. So let's go ahead and save here. Because even though we've got a key to get in, this is still going to be enemy territory, so we got to be careful here. The initiation key must be a Seisen icon. Well, we do happen to have one of those. There's a lot of weird noises. All right. Arthur, King of the Britons. Maybe, possibly. Still hearing spooky noises all over the place. Tip of the fedora to the custodial staff in this joint. Everything's nice and clean. Candidates, eh? Well, I hope I'm more successful here than when I applied at the post office. Let's see what we got there. Hey, Bob! Welcome in, Bob! How's everything going today with you? Hope everything is going good. I realized it was an F. Oops. Oops. <laughs> Candidate's entrance. Hello. Welcome, friend. You are about to begin a journey to an incredible destiny. The successful candidate will become part of an elite aristocracy that will rule a universe beyond imagination. To begin your quest, please set the seven sacred symbols in their proper place. To begin your initiation to a new destiny. All right, we got puzzles. That guy seemed familiar. I think I might have seen that actor before. Is this missed now, or has it always been missed? Think about <laughs> that icon is perfect. Thank you for that. That emote, I should say. These must be the silhouettes of the symbols I need to find. All right. Cool, cool. We can do that. We'll let's start looking then. See what we can find around this place. We need to find seven of those things. I imagine we're going to have to look for a while. Yeah, it reminds me of boarding school, literally. We sat on boards all day. That sounds horrible. Why would they have you do that? Doesn't look 
look like there's anything to see in there. Wasn't that the guy that played the mummy in the Brendan Fraser version? He kind of looked like him, but I don't think it was the same guy. I'm not 100% sure, though. He did look kind of like him, though. I could be wrong. Living quarters. And I'd rather not bump into anybody here, but we're going to have to explore, I suspect. Yeah, it looks like somebody quit halfway through. <laughs> Wine, candles, chalice. Who says cults can't be romantic? <laughs> I don't see anything interesting over here. Lots of books around here, though. There are just too many words in books. Text does not like reading, though, so we're not going to get anywhere there, I don't think. Yeah, all right. Let's check out the living quarters, then. Don't recognize the name, but I'm not sure. It'd probably be on IMDb if anybody wants to take a peek there, but off the top of my head, I'm not sure. Dining area and bedroom quarters. Oh, that was who played the mummy. Gotcha, gotcha. Thank you, DB Stewart. Appreciate it. Alright. Goldilocks hasn't hit the joint yet. Well, put in time for us then. Take a look around. Oh, there's a footlocker here. This sacred symbol has been broken into. Yeah, it looks like a piece of one of those symbols. All right, so one of the sacred symbols has been broken. We'll have to put it back together. This sacred symbol has been broken into several pieces. For these guys, it's more hope of a hope chest than anything else. <laughs> All right. This sacred symbol has been broken into several pieces. Well, we'll see if we can find all the pieces of that, and then maybe start this sacred it symbol has been broken into several pieces. We don't know how many pieces it consists of, though. So we're gonna scope the whole room and then hope we have enough. I think. Yeah, one summer night I took out half the windows in the neighborhood with a slingshot. Rook still hasn't forgiven me. <laughs> this sacred symbol has been broken into several pieces. Alright, we got a slingshot now. Should that be a thing we need? Interesting. I don't know that I trust text with a screenshot with a slingshot, but this sacred symbol has been broken into several pieces. Here we are. Yeah, it looks like a piece of one of those symbols. All right. Is that enough? Is the question. This sacred symbol has been broken into nine pieces. I'm one short. All right, let's go ahead and case the room one more time. See if I can spot where that last piece might be. Make sure it's not just in the center of the room. Possibly on one of these candelabras. Ah, there we go. This sacred symbol has been broken into several pieces. Alright, that should be everything then. This sacred symbol has been broken into nine pieces. Well, I've got all the pieces, but I can't assemble it just yet. We might have to do that later then. Yes, yeah, several is nine, I guess, in his case. I don't know how he knows that it was nine pieces off the top of his head. That's a little unusual. Right, so let's head out of here. And then let's check out the dining area next. Thankful no one seems to be around. Be super dangerous otherwise. No monkeys in here. Established 1879. This winery was established in 1879. 1879. That sounds like it might be a clue. Keep that in mind. <clears throat> These wine bottles are stuck. They do move. There must be more to this than meets the eye. All right. See, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. So let's do one. Eight. Seven. Nine. Bingo! Secret area unlocked. Well, what happened? Whoa! Well. There's got to be some reason this mural was hidden. I better look at it closely. They went to a lot of trouble to hide this thing, but why? I shine my flashlight at it? Did it change anything? Aha! 
It doesn't show up very well normally, but with a flashlight. Now I could use that. You can see that symbol's hidden right there. Clever, clever. Anything else? I don't think so. More than meets the eye, I love it. Well, maybe I can use this lead pipe to my advantage. Yeah, it'd be nice to have a lead pipe that you're not getting hit with for one Dex. That'd be a wonderful thing. Alright, what else do we got here? Ah, Amontillado. Do I hear scratching behind these walls? Nah. <laughs> Don't be so dramatic, Tex. Uh, what do we have here? Some sort of weird checker set? God, I bet I know what I have to do here. Okay, is there some way to reset it? I don't know if there is a way to reset this. But I bet I have to swap the positions of all the pieces. I bet that's what we gotta do here. We have to somehow get all the jackals on top. And all of the pharaohs on bottom. I bet that's what it is. Thanks to getting hit in the head with his own lead pipe. That would actually be very in character for him. Lost you on a wine cellar, though I'm kind of lacking in the... Uh, it would be kind of be wasted on you. Also, you need a, just a shitload of money for that, too. There's also that. If this isn't the solution to this puzzle, then I'm probably wasting my time by a lot here. And honestly, this does seem awfully easy. So this might be wildly incorrect. Let's see. I am a little concerned. Let's see. I'm gonna keep going just in case. There we go. And then that one's going to be another blue one. There we go. Just got this last red one. That was not the solution to the puzzle. I have wasted a considerable amount of time there. Dang it! Yeah, we'll get back to that later. Probably made it harder for myself now too since I don't seem to be able to reset it. Oh, that's a problem. I don't see any clues in the immediate vicinity. Table, there. lantern, cup, plate. Nothing interesting. I'm not sure what we're supposed to do with that. We will have to come back to it then. All right, um, let's do here. Headmaster, let's see what's in the headmaster's office. Probably a clue joke in there too, probably. Yeah, they dig deep for these jokes, Red. That was a good one. I appreciate that one. All right. We have another puzzle here too. don't know what we're trying to do here either. I do notice there's symbols on all these buttons. Some of the buttons seem to be... Hmm. Yeah, we should come back to this one. Can't really tell what it wants me to do yet. See if we can find a clue for that. Oh, a fitted sheet and an extra blanket. Being the boss does have its perks. Not bad, not bad. It's something. The headmaster's pot. I bet this is where he keeps his stash. Alright, what else have we got in here? Oh, I'm hoping this isn't a chamber pot. Ew. Got his own climate control system. That's always nice, very classy, very high-tech. Nothing useful. And 
I'm not seeing anything of use in here aside from that puzzle, and I'm not sure what it wants me to do exactly. Entirely from the Simpsons Halloween comic? That is amazing. No, I'm not seeing any clues for this one. Which is interesting. I don't know that I want to just try something randomly. Let's come back to that one as well. Alright. Anything else worth seeing around this area? Don't see anything in here. Don't see anything jumping out at me in here. Alright. Let's head back for right now. We did get a symbol. I'm just not sure what symbol it is or what to do with it. Yet. Let's see, does it actually need to be put up in here somewhere? Probably. Um. <sighs> Maybe try something else. No, it doesn't look like the symbols actually go in here, necessarily. I guess I was just hitting the wrong one. Ah, there we are. Right. So, what's the broken one then? Can't actually see. Man, I don't even know what I was trying to do. So I'll probably have to find some way to repair it before I can actually do anything with it. Testing area over here. So let's take a look in there. <clears throat> it won't budge. My guess is I need to find the seven sacred symbols before these doors will open. Alright, so that's my end destination. Interesting, interesting. Well, that's interesting, because there's not a lot of other places to visit in here. Wine, candles, chalice. Looks like we're ready for Black Mass. Alright, so we've only found one and a half symbols. That's interesting. So... Oh, hello. Oh, 30-pound brick. Hey, no problem. Uh, Actually gonna throw his back out right there. Alright, why did we need a brick? That's weird. These must be the silhouettes of the symbols I need to find. Yeah, probably. I don't know, Cookie Sherry, I think it's such a good gag. I love it, I love it. Uh, is there anything that looks like it's missing? From any of these, maybe? Possibly? It's weird they've got this huge area and there's nothing to do with it. Gotta be something weird in one of these, right? Presumably? I don't see anything, though. Alright. Well, that must mean we need to go back to the living quarters again then. Alright, I remember having a lot of trouble with this section. First time I played this game, so it looks like we're going to again. It is a type of sherry, interesting. It was much rarer since you had to import it. Alright, interesting, interesting. That I did not know about. I always just knew it was booze. That was all I knew about it. That was as far as I got. Alright, so the bedroom quarters sure there isn't anything else interesting in here, but I'm pretty sure all I had to do was get the broken symbol in here. I don't think there's going to be anything else to do. Alright, so we're good here, I think. we got two puzzles we need to solve. Oh, hello. That might come in handy. A rope! That's going to be at least part of what we need to do something with the, uh, the well outside. Let's go check that out. Because that might have been a symbol that was in the well, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Go find out. I kind of forgot about the well for a second. Alright, so. Strong rope. That was a waste of time. Alright, so I can't just use the rope on that. I suppose we need some sort of hook first, maybe? Uh, can we combine the stone with the rope, maybe? Don't 
do that! Sorry, jeez. Can I combine some of these? No, I can't actually do that. I can't combine a thing with itself anyway. Alright. Um well, that won't work. So can we throw it down to the whatever is down there? Let's try that. <sighs> Maybe try something else. Nope, we need something else. Alright. Is there a missing brick? Is that what our brick is for? No, I don't think so. Nice little wishing well, but a couple of pieces of equipment are missing. Alright, so that's a part of what we need, but not everything. Is Tex even allowed to shout at you for trying to be creative? That wasn't Tex shouting, I think. That was his digital assistant, Smart Alex. And Smart Alex's entire job is to uh, shout at Tex for doing things wrong, because he's really good at that, turns out. <laughs> Alright. Well, there's some stuff we've missed in here then, so let's keep looking. Hello. There's one of the sacred symbols underneath this stone tile, but I can't lift it on my own. Well, maybe if we had some leverage, possibly. Man, I've been hit so many times in the head with a lead pipe. Maybe this time I could use one to my advantage. Let's find out. That was a waste of time. Really? We could be able to lever it up with the, uh, uh, the lead pipe. Well, that won't work. Really? No. There's one of the sacred symbols underneath this stone tile, but I... Yeah, right, I guess that's not gonna work then. Try shouting Fusero Da! I don't think Tex is Dragonborn. I would be very surprised. <laughs> Tex probably wishes he was Dragonborn. But here we are. Alright, so we've got... We do also have a slingshot. I'm not sure what to do with that yet. Oh! -ho! Well, that's one of the symbols, but it's out of my reach. Oh, speaking of the slingshot... It's a slingshot. Well, that was stupid. I probably need to load something in the slingshot first, right? Maybe. Or maybe I can use the rope there? Possibly? Well, that won't work. No, but it's right there. I bet I need to find something to put in the slingshot first. That's got to be what it is. Alright, so we found a couple more symbols. They're all over the place. Goodness gracious. But we need to find some more stuff before we can really put it to work. Alright, let's keep looking then. Let's keep looking. This is loaded with those symbols. If Tex were Dragonborn, Tamriel would be eaten by dragons. That's just science. <laughs> he would not have been uh, doing very well in that situation. I believe that. Believe that very strongly. Let's head back to the dining area. Take another look around here. If we might have missed anything in this room. I'm not seeing anything. Oops. I've still got those two puzzles, but I'm not sure what those puzzles want from me, is the thing. So this one was originally all the jackals on the bottom and all the, uh, barrows on the, the top. I'm gonna assume this isn't the queen's puzzle, because I don't think you could do it with this many pieces. Tell them your badge! Wait, wrong game, dang it! No, I'm really not sure what the game wants me for that one. So, let's check out the other puzzle real quick. Make sure. Oh, we, we did miss something in here. Ah! Pickled egg. We got a pickled egg. This pickled egg must be over a hundred years old. It's as hard as a rock. As a rock, you say? Well, can we use it as a slingstone? I gotta admit, sometimes when you play God, things turn out okay. Well, my trusty slingshot is loaded. Alright, so we did find a slingstone. That's a good thing. Alright, anything else we missed in here? There is something under the pillow. It's a Mike and I Camer candy comic. 
The case of the root canal. I'll put this in my comic book rack collection back in my office. Oh, well hidden, but not something we needed necessarily. Alright, so we got this puzzle then. But again, I'm not quite sure what the game wants here. I could try turning everything one color, maybe. Ah, Alright. Winner, winner. Got that one at least. Can you examine, look at the board? Oh, we might be able to actually. I didn't even think about that. Um. And not much on the table except, wow, the ancient Egyptian game of Senate. I think these have a hidden compartment that open when you win it. Now, Tex knows that we have to complete it, but he doesn't say how. Good thinking, though. That's smart. Chicken dinner, thank you for the GG there. All right, so we got another symbol, and we've got the means to get yet another one as well. So, let's go ahead and drop that one we just got off. The Amenta. Cool, that one's done, and let's go get the one up here. All right, I might need a hint on that one in a second, because I'm not quite sure what to do with it. All right, so let's aim at that. Use our loaded slingshot. Bingo! Got it. All right. What was text like before the memory loss? He was a Boy Scout before the memory loss. Or you mean, uh, oh, the last seven years? Apparently he was some sort of hardened jerk. Uh, probably because he was pissed off about what appeared to be the death of Chelsea. Though current uh, text doesn't believe that's uh, actually a thing that happened. Crook and flail. Alright, that's three down. The things I find about Senate show a very different board, like 10 by 3 size board. Yeah, I don't think that's actually Senate. I don't know why they'd call it Senate in that case, but uh, here we are. Alright, so we've still got... Let's see, can we combine the lead pipe and the brick? Oh yeah, that'll work. Oh! Looky here. I've made a fulcrum. That's a really strange way to go about that, but I think that's what we need to lift up the block over here now. Let's try that. Well, looky here. I've made a fulcrum. That's kind of an unintuitive way to solve that, you but alright. You still got it, my friend. That is another symbol. I'll take it. Yeah, I give a gumbo. I think you hit it on the head right there. So this one is Anubis. Anubis symbol. Cool. So we'll go ahead and put that right here. Alright. Three remaining. And we know where at least one of those is inside that uh, Senate puzzle. Uh, what else do we have in the inventory still? We still got the rope. Oh, there's one at the bottom of the well. We need to figure out how to get to that one as well. As well. All right, Rin, if you've got any good hints you think you can give about the checkers slash senate puzzle, feel free to let me know. <laughs> it is a variation on the queen's puzzle, shit. All right, let me guess. Is it that I have to make sure that none of these pieces are in the same diagonal as one of the enemy pieces? Because that sounds... Oh, God, why am I doing a Queen's Puzzle again? It's fine. It's all right. No, that is incorrect. All right, all right. So I don't just have to make sure that none of the pieces are in the same diagonal as an enemy piece. Would you like to know more? I would, I would. We <laughs> check in five. We're getting towards it. Like, out of control freight train. It's funny seeing this ancient temple complete with chanting lined with holographic lighting. I mean, you gotta make some uh, concessions to the future, I suppose. Alright, alright, alright. Rows and columns. Alright, so I'm not thinking diagonals. I am thinking rows and columns. Alright, so... The problem is, with the Queen's puzzle, you've only got one kind of piece. The Queen. Whereas in this one, I have two types of pieces 
the Pharaoh and the Jackal. I need to figure out how the two of those interact here. Let's see, we've got six rows, we've got six columns, so it's possible... Um, I just need to have them both unique there, possibly? Yeah, that's what I... It's, anytime I see, would you like to know more? Um, I'm either hearing Psychor or I'm hearing a Starship Troopers, one or the other. Let's see, what's a queen's puzzle? It is a puzzle in chess. What you do is you get a chessboard and I think eight queens, and you have to put them on a chessboard in such a way so that none of the queens has any of the other queens in check. And it is a puzzle that we encountered last in Seventh Guest. It is pretty challenging, but uh, yeah. That is the uh, queen's puzzle right there. All right, so. I suppose we could just try the absolute simplest solution that I can think of, which is make a big ass diagonal. Except we can't do that, can we? Ooh, no, we cannot. We cannot just make a big ass diagonal. Shit. That would have been nice and easy, though. All right, so we can't do that uh, then, so what do we want to do? Run me through what you're thinking the end game is. I'm thinking the end game is none of the pharaohs share a row or column, and none of the jackals share a row or column. So basically two... Two simultaneous versions of the Queen puzzle is what I'm thinking here. Except not working on diagonals, just working on uh, rows and columns. Yeah, Dex, uh, seventh guest, uh, seventh guest is brutal. And how are you doing today, Dex? How was your holiday? Hope everything went well with you. Glad to have you with us. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be an in-game explanation for what to do, which is really strange. All right, so, put that there. All right, so, no, that's not quite gonna work. Um, thought I was gonna have an easy way out here, I do not. Um, yeah, unfortunately, that's not going to work. Uh, so, let's see, let's see, let's see. I think... Do I do a shining meme picture with this board or not? Oh, God. Possibly. I much I enjoy watching you start with puzzles, I don't want you to start with a wildly incorrect in-game premise, which we already did, because we already swapped all the pieces from top and bottom, and that did nothing. <laughs> but here we are. Here we are. We're going to make this work. All right, so... All right, so we know... Let's see. We have, for the pharaohs, we've got three reds and three blues. The blues... The reds are always going to move on... Oh, no! They can move anywhere! Shit, for some reason I was thinking they clearly move in diagonals. Oh, well, that makes this super easy then. Shit. Why was I thinking they could only move on diagonals? I don't know. I just assumed, I guess. I don't even have to move them one space at a time. Jesus. All right, I can just click wherever I want them to be. This was much easier than I thought it was going to be. Wow! I made that so much harder than it needed to be! That's the final boss of this game, chat! It's me! It's me! <laughs> As usual, I suppose, no surprise there. <laughs> Thank you for the GG's, everyone. I don't deserve them, I assure you. <laughs> 
Oh, the good old days when it would take months of trial and error to complete a game. Oh, I don't miss those days. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, that wasn't actually a difficult puzzle. <laughs> Shane discovered he's the vintage Spider-Man meme today. I am. It's me. <laughs> now, here's something you don't see every day. Can we just break the board? I suppose we're trying not to set off any alarms here. That's an important thing. All right, so that'll get us all but two symbols, I think. And next time I change on his stealth, Bob, I'm gonna make your day today. There is a section of this game that needs stealth, and I'm real bad at it. <laughs> so yeah, you're in, you're in for a treat there. I can promise you that. The lotus flower. You can look forward to that. What was that about alarms? Yeah, I'm, I'm real bad at that. All right, so we still got the broken symbol. I'm not sure where to put that. Could it be this one? <sighs> Maybe try something else. Guess I better not be too creative, because it won't work. Alright, so we can't just put the symbol onto the board. Broken. We need to find some way to assemble it first, which is interesting. We still got the rope as well. Gotta figure out what to do with that. All right, um, let's see, we already looked around outside, I didn't see anything out there, so I don't think there's anything more to see outside. We know there's one symbol in the well, but it looks like we need more than just the rope to get to it. I'm not sure what else we're going to need there. Uh, let's see. I don't think that's the case. All right. Um... Two more symbols, two more symbols. One's in the well, we don't know where the other one is. I'm gonna try looking up, because I don't think I was doing that before. I tend that tends to be a mistake I make in these games. Is I don't look up. Which also, if you're playing any uh, online multiplayer shooters with me, and you want to ambush me every single time, literally, every single time, just get somewhere above me, I will never see you. And it will be really embarrassing for me and hilarious for you. Uh, so take that tip. That's my holiday gift to you. <laughs> All right. Where could that last one be? I feel like we searched everywhere in here. I don't really think there's anything left to see around here. Crack that one open. Hmm. Like we've already solved all the puzzles I'm aware of aside from the well. And I found some nice secret rooms like this one that worked out well. Um, so what's left over? What is there still to do? I'm honestly, not 100% certain. This is a huge room. I still feel like I could probably be missing something in here. It doesn't seem like it would be tremendously hard. Yeah, it looks like somebody quit halfway through. Um... I'm kind of looking for sparkles with my flashlight, because that tells me where something needs to be picked up. And that'd be awfully convenient. There are just too many words in books. There is a creepy breath sound in here, and occasionally it gets a little bit more intense. You're not crazy, sure, or at least not for that reason, anyway. I can't confirm for any other reasons. If you're finally losing your marbles, the day's gotta come one of these days. <laughs> there is that. Alright. There's anything else here. I think it's just the well, basically. But we already tried using the rope with the wheel. <sighs> Maybe try something else. Work. And we tried using the rope with the bucket. I don't know what I was thinking. That doesn't work either. I'm not sure there. Alright. We're close, 
These last two pieces have proven to be a bit tricky here. Rin, you got a hint? What do you got? I'm clearly missing something at this point. Arthur, King of the Britons. That's what he says to all of them, apparently. We got the one in the well, and then one that we don't know where it is. And the only item I have at this point, I think, is... The, oh, we've got the broken symbol, too. We need to figure out some way to put that together. Do we still have the stupid glue? No, unfortunately, when we put the record together, the stupid glue vanished. Uh, so, yeah, that was a one-time use thing for the tutorial puzzle, unfortunately. That would be really easy, though. That would be awfully convenient. Sadly, no dice there. Oh, so we do know where both the pieces are, right? One of them is the broken one, and the other one's in the well. All right. So we know where all the pieces are. We just don't know what to do with the broken piece. And we don't know how to get the one in the well, even though we have rope. Apparently, rope isn't all we need. Gotta be something else we can do. If this is a Sierra game, you wouldn't need that glue here and you have to start over. I mean, we can, I think, leave and come back if we need to. If there was something we needed in a different location, I'm pretty sure we could just leave and come back. Thankfully. Thankfully, Tex Murphy isn't usually that cruel. As far as I know, there's no dead ends. I am missing an item. Alright, let's... Let's save first and foremost. And then let's see if we can head back to the office, maybe? That could be a thing. Let's pop back there real quick. Uh, Chandler Avenue. Oh, items in the area you're in, all right. Well, luckily we can uh, get back there quickly enough. Thankfully, to the map function. Head back to Saison. All right. So we are missing another item. Which sucks. I thought I was pretty thorough with going over thing everything at this point. All right. What else could we be missing, then? Let's keep looking, then. See what else there might be. Once again, I'm thinking about the huge room in the center. This room is just so massive, there could be uh, something anywhere. And it would be pretty easy for us to miss it. Let's go ahead and take a good sweep around here. See if there might be anything else we're missing in this room. It is a very nicely put together room. Like, they clearly spent a lot of time just getting the look of this place right, which I appreciate. I do appreciate that. Just, uh, if you're going to be spending a, a time in an area puzzling like this, I like if it's at least nice to look at. There's some decent sound design. Let me know if you would like the location. I think so, yeah. I feel like I've been over this place a couple times. Feel free to uh, narrow it down if you want. I'm curious if it's going to be a thing where I'm going to want to smack myself or it's going to be like, oh, I would never find that. Because <laughs> you never know with games like this. I almost wish it's something that I'd smack myself with, but you, you never know. You never know. Keep looking here. Alright, so it's in the entrance hallway, it sounds like. Let's see. From the outside, enter the door. The outside of what? Is the question. On a scale of 1 to 10, how alone are we here? We're not 100% sure, Shira, but we haven't seen anybody yet. So, uh, you know, hopefully we're extremely alone. Because if we're not extremely alone, somebody's... 
gonna kill us, I suspect. And hey, that's not cool. I'd rather not, thank you. In the dark out of ten! Wow, I like that two people came up with that idea at the same time. Chet, you're beautiful people, and I love all of you. Enter the door and look closely to the other side. What other side? Well, I'm not 100% sure what they mean by that. In the dark two levels, that's bad news, or a remake. I have more, but we're verging into- Honestly, at this point, go right ahead. Because I am pretty stumped. <laughs> that is completely fine if you just need to be like, Hey, idiot. Hey, idiot. It's right there. Because wherever it is, I'm not seeing it. And my flashlight's not revealing it for some reason either. On the right side of the candidate's entrance. Alright, so this is the candidate's entrance. Oh my god, it's so tiny. That's a hook. It's my favorite artificial lamp. I don't feel like I would have found that, so I feel good now. Alright, so we've got a hook. So what we need to do is we need to combine the hook with the rope. Oh dear god. Well, now I've got something useful. And we're gonna grappling hook. Stamp you, idiot! Hook, line, and sinker. God, do I have to find a sinker too? God, the puzzles never end with this game. What the hell? All right, so I do I now use that on the bucket, maybe? There we go. Hey, bucket. Well, I know what this is. It's a thing that does that. Thing. All right, so now I've got all the symbols. We just need to find a way to assemble the last symbol. And that I'm not sure about. Not even smart like Sonny Dexter ever, but he is kind of a jackass, so he would think that. That jerk. An Ibis. All right. So the last one is the Ankh symbol. So, we gotta find some way to assemble that. Maybe there is an impression of an Ankh symbol somewhere that I can just place it into? I guess that could potentially be a thing, but I haven't been looking for that. You have the location for the assembly? Alright, give me a second. I just had a thinky thought that maybe it is uh, somewhere I can find that indentation looking thing. And I don't know if I've seen one of those anywhere, but I'm going to look real quick. And if not, I will probably ask for assistance. But that's what I'm assuming I'm looking for. I'm looking for an impression, an indentation in the shape of a... Uh, maybe it's in the sleeping quarters? Because that's where I found all the pieces. That would kind of make sense. Hey, Retrograde Tom, welcome in and happy holidays to you. Hope you had a good holiday season. Hope you got some good swag as well and welcome in. If we have any mods around, can I please get a shout out, Mr. Retrograde Tom? If anyone here is not watching Tom, you should. He is one of, for my money, the best streamers on all of Twitch. Plays retro, plays variety, plays all kinds of really cool things. Recently was playing Normality, which is just one of the most glorious dumpster fires of a game I have ever seen. If you haven't witnessed it before, you, yeah, you, you need to. You need to see Normality at least once in your life. So make sure you click that link, give him a follow, check him out next time he's live. He's good people. Is this chanting pre-recorded live? I don't do pre-recorded chanting. It sounds stale. <laughs> that is... The most glorious complaint I think I've ever heard about a game. I'm in awe here. It's beautiful. <laughs> oh god, Shenanan, I'm gonna have it stuck in my head now, aren't I? Pro 
Probably. Oh, hello. There's something else here? For these guys, it's more hope of a hope chest than anything Ow! else. It's a magnetic resonator board. I don't know if I would have found that there. That's well hidden. All right. Thank goodness for the flashlight, at least. Ding, 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 ding. We have a winner. I didn't even have a puzzle where I get to put them back together. That's what I was hoping for. That would have been cool. Oh, no, I do. All right. They just look like they were all put back together there. That's weird. All right. I'm like, give me a, give me a, uh, puzzle here. Give me an actual puzzle where I put the things back together. That'd be rad. Do I have to rotate these things? I don't think so. Oops, no. Nope. I have to rotate these pieces. I'm not sure how to get them in there. Uh, let's see. What else have we got? Got this huge piece right here. Oh, you must have to rotate them. Because that piece right there clearly doesn't fit anywhere like it is. Uh, so how do I turn it? Oh, there we go. I just click on it. Cool, cool, cool. That goes right there then. And then this. Um, no, that's not going to work. Uh, let's see where this piece fits. Oh, I can't remove that now. That's suspicious. I can't move that, though. All right. So that one's not where it's supposed to be. There. Not there. There, maybe? And this goes here, maybe? Oh, okay. All right, cool. We're on the right track now. All right, there we go. We got the top piece in. That's excellent. Thought that was the E.T. Atari game? I have actually played that before on an actual Atari. It's not good, but it's far from the worst game I have ever seen. All right, so this. Where does this go? Oh, I think I, oh, I, I see what we're doing here. I see what we're doing, that's interesting. Right, then it goes right here, maybe. Boy. I need to put these on the other side. They might want me to put these on the other side. Yep, they want me to snap them in there, even though they look like they fit. All right, cool. We have the assembled onk. Woo! Excellent. Does Tex get a, uh, discounted rates on being a repeat customer for head traumas? You'd hope so. But, you know, this is uh, America. So I'm assuming they charge him more each time, actually. <laughs> Play the game when it came out. Young guy in a hat learned a very young age that games could be bad. Good lesson. Yeah, you gotta learn that at some age, unfortunately. Hey, good morning, Lodo. Welcome in. I did have a good holidays. How are you doing, Lodo? Hope everything is going good with you. All right, the final piece. The Ankh symbol. And now the journey of the symbols begins. Candidates are selected for their superior intelligence and physical attributes. The Seisen elite will wield a royal authority over the dominions of Earth and beyond. The test to join Seisen is not without risks. When you cross the threshold, it is literally a journey to the underworld, where either eternal life or eternal death awaits. Well, that's terrifying. All right. Tech's gonna fail. Oh yeah, Tech's gonna fail real hard. They said superior physical and mental attributes. Tex ain't ready for any of those. Absolutely not. No way. Go ahead and save right there.
The moment when you want to make frozen pizza, and it's a good one because all the ingredients are gathered on one side because they aren't frozen into the dough. Also, pizza needs thawing for 20 minutes, then baking for 6 to 10. Oh, you got pizza soon. What kind of toppings you got on that one, Zinkat? I am curious. You can see why it would appear so. He's got that kind of vibe going to him, which is interesting. Yeah, maybe nobody else made it through. That's true. Is there a temporary version we can opt into? That'd be nice. I'll take that. All right. So this is the testing area. So we actually have to do the tests here. All right. This must be one of the tests of Say Sand. I need to step on the platform before I can solve it. All right. I think I see what we have to do here. I'm assuming this is a traffic jam puzzle. And we have to get the cat out, is what I'm guessing. That's what I'm going to guess here. So... There. Oh, hello. Hey, machine! Welcome in, machine. How are you doing today? How is your stream? Hope it went well. Tell me everything. Me raid! <laughs> Welcome in, machine. And Booch, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. What were you playing today, machine? How did it go? Tell me every little thing. Hope it went good for you. Move that up there. There was a time when a young Shane was pretty decent at traffic jam puzzles. I'm not 100% certain this is that time, though. I guess we're going to find out. I guess we are going to find out here. Um... I'm pretty decent at traffic jam puzzles. I'm proud of that one. I'll take it. I don't know any liches, and I don't think my parents got the lifetime warranty on me, DB Stewart. That's amazing. Is that how they put the sarcophagi into the pyramids? I assume so. It would make sense. Just some chill war zone. Nice, nice. Hope you have a great holiday machine. Hope you had a fun time in there. Oh, there was a game on Windows 3.1, right? I, I, that, nice. That my neighbor, when I was a little kid, had an actual physical, like, tabletop game where it had an actual, like, grid board and there were little plastic cars and you actually had to move around like that. So I've had some practice with that. I like those puzzles. I enjoy traffic jam puzzles. Those are cool. That's it. Kind of low energy tonight, so the games are a little bit more chill. I don't have the energy to rage. That's probably for the best. I appreciate that. Yeah, my holiday was good. Thank you for asking. You have passed this test. Proceed to the next chamber. Alright, off to a good start, off to a good start. Oh, let's save before we head in there, I don't trust anything in this place. Alright, moving on. The path through the afterlife is difficult. You are required to pass a series of locations guarded by supernatural creatures. Yeah, there is some stealth coming up here. God damn it, I'm so bad at this. How many tests do you have lined up at once? It's a lot, it would seem like. Oh my god. You must not read from the book! <laughs> Just don't, don't read out loud when you're reading these uh, books. The Yeti from Skis for a Yacht. I didn't know as a kid that you could escape him. I just assumed it was the inevitability of death, which is a very heavy lesson to teach a small child. <laughs> oh, oh my god, what is this? What is this? Um... Did I break it? Didn't look like I could click on anything there. This must be one of the tests of Say Sand. I need to step on the platform before I can solve it. 
All right, so we got a bunch of jackal heads. We got a bunch of skulls as well. Oh, all right, so I do have to play it when it's tiny. Why do I have to play it when it's tiny? What am I trying to do here? I'm trying to just make a path through, but what about all the skulls? I mean, I'm assuming I'm trying to get to the green thing at the end from the red thing, but... There's a number counting down, too. What does that number indicate? Alright, let's go back to the start. If we can. We cannot! I don't really know. What the hell? Did I, did I actually solve that or what's happening here? I don't even know what's happening. All right, so I need to get to the end. And I'm gonna have to click things to do that, cool. Cool. That's, that's all right. We, we can do that. And I've got a certain number of moves. I don't fully understand how moves work, but all right. Got uh, 20 some moves left here, we can do this. Is that a dead end? Seems like a dead end. You didn't tell me what to do if there was a dead end. Um. So I've still got 19 moves. I see a back arrow there. Can I navigate this with the arrow keys? No, of course not. I seem to have broken it? Oh, there we go. I can reset it by clicking on the red arrow. Uh, let's see. Hang on. Let me, let me take a good look at it. So, skull... Oh, do I just have to alternate? I just have to alternate. Skull to jackal, jackal to skull. Gotcha. Skull to jackal, jackal to skull. All right, yeah, we can do that. Cool. Skull to jackal, jackal to skull. All right, all right, yeah, we can do that. Cool, cool, we're making some progress. Then... No, that's not gonna work, is it? Shoot. Is there no way to move backwards in here? There doesn't seem to be a way to move backwards. I don't care for that. No, I don't see any way... Ah, shoot. Oops, nope. Skull to Jekyll, Jekyll to hide. Wait, what? <laughs> Shoot, I don't see any, move, any way to move backwards, so I think we just have to reset. Which is super frustrating. No, I have to start over? Son of a bitch! Oh, God. Alright, so if I mess up, I have to start over. That sucks. Sucks hard. Like start completely over? Alright. How many boards are there in that case? Defiant Rave Salem! Sorry, Defiant Salem, welcome in. How are you doing today? Alright. Alright. Alright, we can get up through there. Oh, this is a dead end, ain't it? 
No, we can get up over here. There is this. But that's a dead end right there. Shoot. All right. I can see a back arrow, but I can't actually click on it. Got to reset. So we can reset at least. So that's a good thing. But as long as I don't force myself to go all the way to the end. Then we've got options. I suppose it's something. Nope. All right. So let's see what options we got here. So we can go over this way. Fix the skull. We can go this way. All right. Let's try going up from here. Skull. Ankle. Skull. Ankle. Skull. We need to go down here. Not quite ideal, but we'll make it work. Go. All right. That gets us over here. This seems cool. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Then we have to kind of zigzag here for a while. Alright, we're getting somewhere. We've got to be real careful now. We've only got 11 moves. And I think we might already be screwed. Yeah, shoot, we might already be screwed. Wonder how many potential candidates withdrew their application because it's a BS puzzle! <laughs> I mean, I suppose if they came in as a fanatic, they're probably willing to uh, cut them some slack here. Yeah, we completely locked ourselves out from the solution to the puzzle. Dang it. All right. Interesting. Very interesting. This is a weird puzzle. They must have put some thought into this, which I do respect. And that's a dead end right there. All right. Uh, a lot of people think Anubis was the Egyptian god of death, but he isn't. He's the god of funerary rites. The goddess of death is the mother, mother uh, Neftis. Interesting, Kiwi. And welcome in, Kiwi. How are you doing today? I hope you had a good holiday. Excuse me. I wonder if IRL archaeologists feel cheated because the ancient finds didn't actually contain puzzles and conundrums to solve. That would break my heart. I'll tell you that much. I think it made it most of the way? I, I don't know. I might have just messed up at the end, that's true. I should see if there was anything else I could have done there before I give up entirely. Alright, let's see what else we got. Let's see, let's try heading this way. gets us over to here and then we got two different paths we can go straight up or we can go over I think I went straight up before let's try going over now and then go to here all right jackal skull no, this is the same way we locked ourselves out before. Shoot. That's interesting, though. That is interesting. All right. So I think we are close there. Quite possibly, anyway. That's a good end. Quite possibly we're getting close there. Let's see if there's another path 
nearby that we're passing. That could very well be the trick here. I might have just fallen into the same trap here. This is interesting. We're at Christmas! Oh, jeez. I'm working New Year's, though. So I, I feel you there. Puzzle adventure? We do have a puzzle adventure, and it is definitely kind of kicking my ass. All right, let's try going down here. So, jackal, skull, jackal, skull. Yeah, oh, man! I think we found it. We got six moves left. There we go! All right, cool, cool. We did it. That was kind of a cool puzzle. I liked that. I liked that. That was neat. Thank you for the GG, Shira. I appreciate that. <laughs> Shira, I had not tried that, but that was clever. This is nice puzzling music, too. I do like that. Thank you for the GG's, Bob. Let's make another save here. Alright. Kind of Mensa shit initiation. It does kind of feel like one of those, doesn't it? This is true. Lost Ashness. Will, thank you for the GGs. I appreciate it. Three mighty pharaohs have reached the underworld and must travel across the River Nun. Each has been given his own guide, but each pharaoh objects to his guide crossing with another pharaoh, unless he himself is present. They also object to leaving their guides with the pharaoh on the other side of the river. Arrange their passage. But remember, though the boat holds two people, one must bring it back for the other to use. See, Ashness, you know exactly what puzzle this is. You know exactly what puzzle this is. Machine, no! No, I'm not going back. I'm not going back. We're not doing that yet. Alright. One of the classics it is. It is honestly one of the classics. Why is it so tiny? Why are you making it so tiny? Alright. Alright, so. Let's see, let's have... Let's have these two come over. Let's have light green go back. Can't send those over. Hmm. Have the two oranges go over. Leave the oranges there. Oops. Let's have green bring the boat back. guys go over. Oops. We have green come back. We have... Let's see. Pink you go over there. Green you come back. Both the greens come on board. Easy. <laughs> The classic river crossing puzzle, yeah. This is an old one. Ugh. Solutions swim, it's like 10, doesn't even look that far, honestly. Woo! Thank you for the GG's, folks. That was another fun one. I liked that one. That one was neat. I'll make another save, though. Lots of puzzles in this section. I like it. This is cool. Ooh, we're going deeper now. Into the bowels of the temple. Oh, jeez, what is this? Each statue represents one element, earth, water, or the sun. I need to make sure that the light emitting from each statue reflects the element the statue represents. Afterwards, I need to align the lights emitting from the statues to the symbols carved on the tomb in the center of the room. Oh, 
Okay. 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 That's a, that's a lot. So what can I interact with here? The light is yellow. All right. So the light is yellow. So what do I what do I do to interact with these guys is the question. How do I change things? Because I don't think this guy's right. I think the ones with the sun symbol are supposed to be yellow. That's fine. Each statue represents one element: earth, water, or the sun. I need to make sure that the light emitting from each statue reflects the element the statue represents. Afterward, it's the symbol of the sun. All right. I haven't seen anything I can affect in here, so it's interesting. Use the bridge a few miles off the river, that would work too. <laughs> yeah, this one just tells me what it is, seriously. Yeah, playtesting must have been brutal for this one. Guy's locked into the mirror because he's unable to solve the puzzle. That's a fitting punishment, I would understand. That's why he looks so smug. He's like, here's what the puzzle is. Good luck. You won't be able to do it. Believe me, I tried. It's impossible. And then he's just getting uh, progressively more angry with me as I keep working my way through. <laughs> All right, so there must be something I'm able to affect in here. But I don't actually see anything I can change. It should be like a hand symbol. Whenever I come across something that I can affect. Is it the gears? Do I have to use the gears somehow? I do have to use the gears. Wow, oh, jeez. Alright, so that made him blue, except I don't want that. I made him red. Again, I just want him to be yellow. Alright, so he's yellow. Got that. Ah, gotcha. Alright. So this one moves in a circle, and the other one changes what the light is. Gotcha. So first thing I need to get everybody's light correct. So I'm going to assume sun is supposed to be yellow. That makes sense to me. This one just shows the pyramids. I'm assuming that's earth, so that should be red. Cool. And this one shows water, so this one should be blue, I presume. That's blue, gotcha. And this one should be red. So I think everyone's got the correct colors now. I believe so. So now we just make sh need to make sure... What was the last part? Each statue represents one element, earth, water, or the sun. I need to make sure that the light emitting from each statue reflects the element the statue represents. Afterwards, I need to align the lights emitting from the statues to the symbols carved on the tomb in the center gotcha. of the room. So this one needs to be water. We need to get the water guy over into that corner. We can do that. Oh, it's doing it for me. Maybe? No, not quite. Aha! Alright! That one wasn't quite as interesting as the previous ones, but uh, we solved it. We'll roll with it. Thank you for the GG's again, folks. I appreciate it. You've discovered a hole! I'm jumping in. Hey oh Alright, going even deeper now. Uh, hi,
highest praise is lavished upon you, the newest member of the aristocratic class. The Seisan is the lotus flower, a symbol of rebirth in Egyptian mythology. You will now undergo a period of mind conditioning for the next three months, where thought patterns will be restructured for complete obedience to our cause. After, you will become a pure disciple of Seisan, worthy of leadership in the new order. Yeah, I don't, I don't want any of that, actually. That sounds horrible. Hey, just the passenger. Welcome in and thank you for the raid. How are you doing today? How was your stream? What were you playing? Tell me everything. And welcome into your community as well. A bit of light entertainment. I love it. I love it. And just the passenger. Thank you for the eight month resub. I appreciate all that support. Very kind of you. And oh shit. I think we've officially found the stealth section. Yeah, I see those lights on the floor. Uh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is stealth section. Damn it. And it was coming eventually. Now that you've showed critical, critical and lateral thinking through solving puzzles, let's just erase your brain. Make your mindless drone. Uh. I'll play the new Satisfactory update. You love text movie? Me too. Me too. Once we finish this one, we will have played all of the FMV ones. I hope we'll get more in the future. I really do. Yeah, it is cool of him to be uh, upfront about it. That's the thing. I didn't see Zigcat. I might have missed it. I hope not. Oh, because it censored the name. Just the passenger, I think my alerts didn't like your name because it's got the word ass in it. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. I've never seen that before. It took me a second, I'm like, why would it glitch out on the name? Oh, because it says ass in there. <laughs> oh, God. It's... I, you're, you're on the right thinking, but bot, but uh, not quite what I was looking for there. <laughs> Alright. we are gonna stay out of the flashlights. Oh god, alright. I'll bet this is where they're keeping Mason Bauer since security is so tight. I better be careful to stay in the shadows. Let's see. Incubation cell B. Bozeman, 27 days. Probably not someone we need to worry about this second. Who is shining that flashlight beam? Or is that an automated one? There's not a guy right there, which is interesting. I have no idea what's shining that beam. It's super weird. Is this a glitch? What's happening here? S. Kavanaugh, 27 days. Is he coming this way? He's going the other way. Alright, we're good. Storage room. What's heading here? Let's see what we got to see in here. Glad they took the comedy route from the original Mean Street. That is... <laughs> That is amazing right there. It's done it before. I've never noticed that before, Rin. Thank you for noticing. Hey, Crazy Eats. Welcome in. How are you doing today? Hope you're doing well. The Zig, thank you for clipping that. I'm going to have to check that out. You rage quit at this part? I had so much trouble. I played this before, and this part was just a nightmare for me. It really was. I'm so bad at stealth. I'm so bad at stealth. The armoire is locked. I'll need to find a key. All right, need a key to get in there. Four or five crates, all addressed to Charles Foster Kane. I don't think he's going to be coming to pick him up anytime soon. Four or five crates, all addressed to Charles Foster Kane. Monk robes for the on-the-go monk that favors both stylishness and comfort. Can I not take a monk robe and attempt, attempt to blend in? That seems like that would be the easiest thing to do here. I guess not. 
Alright, so we're going to need to get a key before we can get into there, so there's nothing to do in here for the moment. Is that the Ark? We, I mean, there was the Ark of a Covenant uh, footrest in uh, Texas' apartment. Ah, oh, thank you, Zikhead. I appreciate that. Ah, there is an automated camera right there. I see it now. Alright, so we gotta wait for that to pass back over, I think. Yeah, it's gonna come back. I'll make a break for it right there. Oh, Jesus, got right there. And... Well, you're dead. Good thing you saved your game. Wait, you did save your game, right? Because there is no way I'm going through all that again. No, I, I did. We're good. We're good. Yeah, I suppose the robes probably wouldn't be a very snug fit. That's true. All right, D. Thompson. That's not quite who we're looking for. E. C. McLeod. Uh, all right, who we're looking for again? A, uh, A Bowers. All right, that is the Bowers room we need to get into, but it's all lit up. There's nobody close. There's a guy right there. Oh, jeez. All right, he moves. We just got to be patient with him. Gotcha. Uh... M6 R4. Alright, I think those are. Oh, jeez! On my list of preferable ways to go, this is definitely not one of them. Alright, I bet that's part of a code right there. So I'm gonna make a note of those next time we come through. I don't know if they change or not. So I'm not gonna write them down just yet. Follow behind this guy for a minute. Oops! As he turns around, then we're screwed. Alright, P3. That could be a thing as well. Alright, so... P3, got that. Let's see. Toastman, greetings and happy holidays. How are you doing today, Toastman? Hope everything is going well with you. Make it a note here. I just died. I am now deceased. But I can sneak behind him. Hopefully, I can sneak in here. Ah, oh, he's just sitting down, damn it. I'm gonna have to hope I can wait in here. I don't know if this guy's gonna spot me though. He did not. Good, good. This is a temporary or eternal kind of death. Well, I suppose I'm back here, so you know, there's that. Come on, dude! Come on! Alright, there he goes. Alright, M6R4. Let me write those down. R4 M6. Alright. So there's at least three letters we're missing. Thank you for that, Chininen. I'm doing good, Toast Man. Had a very good holiday over here. Got some nice swag. least two letters we're still missing. Uh, let's see. Office of the Headmaster. We need a pass key for that. Shoot. The hell are we supposed to find a pass key? Oh, here we go. Something on the wall right there. E5. Alright, let's write that down as well. Five. 
All right, so we need at least two more letters. Rook to e5, checkmate. Meat check. <laughs> Keep exploring. We gotta look on the walls for those now. We got some idea what we're looking for, at least. That's something. Is there something on the wall down here? S1. Alright, cool. Let's write that down. S1. I've gotta guess what the word is here. I don't even have to buy a vowel, but I, I'm going to keep looking around because we don't know where to put these letters yet either. You sunk my battleship! <laughs> Alright. Keep looking. It's you too. Alright. So I believe the word is supreme. We've got everything but the last E. I believe it's supreme. That's a seven letter word. Uh, so yeah, we don't, we still don't know where to put these things, but yeah, we need a key in the storage room. We need a key card to get into the headmaster's office. So it's nice that we found those letters, but we need more here. We need to be doing something else. What are we missing here? I mean, the good thing is if we die here, we haven't actually lost any items or anything. Something text finds an album automatically downloaded into Smart Alex! God, what a weird time that was, right, Ashness? I almost forgot about that, but... No, I know exactly what you're talking about. We're going to give everyone a free album, and they can't say no to it. Yeah, that, that's going to go over good. Looks like the translator's ambitions are the same as Ming the Merciless. Universal domination. Alright, so nothing else to see there. Gotta be something I'm missing here. Oh, I was gonna see if I could sneak up on one of those you again? guys. How many times do I have to bail you out? I was gonna see if I could sneak up on a guy and steal something from him. But no, that is not the trick. Alright, so, so. Let's see, can I just do something with the door over here? Or as soon as I step into the light, do I get busted? I don't actually know for certain, so let's find out. Nope, we get busted immediately. This is your blue screen of death, Mr. Murphy. Alright, so we need to find... We need to do something before we go straight for the door. I know there's a storage room. Make sure there isn't anything else in here I missed. I think this is just this. The is locked. I'll need to find a key. It says we need a key. We definitely don't have anything useful in our inventory right now, do we? We don't. Alright, so I can get in here, but there's nothing to do. Unless... Security key. You bet your sweet bippy I'm picking that up. Unless I missed that the first time we were in here. That's a security badge. Alright, this will get us into the headmaster's office, I think. Where's he going? This way? Cool, cool, cool. Alright, and use the pass key right here. Cool, cool, alright, we're in here. Door's closed, we should be safe. Whew, alright, progress, progress. Some pharaoh heads that I can manipulate, but one's missing. Looks like we've got one mask missing. Alright. Sweet Bippy, yeah, Texas kind of old school. He really is. <laughs> Nothing more timely than a fucking Flash Gordon reference. That's text for you. All right, what do we have in here? Candle, couple of books, 
Guess this guy wanted to be like Lincoln. Reads by candlelight. I doubt it. Is that tape? Candle, couple of books. There's tape on there, too. Guess this guy wanted to be like Lincoln. Reads by candlelight. All right, this one's not locked. That's good. There's not much in here, though. Is there anything in here? Oh, there's nothing in here, though. Yeah, that's not important. Dude, got all excited for a second there. All right, is there anything else to see in here? There seems to be a puzzle. Bam! Looks like we got ourselves another secret room. There is. We gotta figure out a way in there first. What else we got? Anything? Looks like an armoire key. Ah, all right. So we got the key to the armoire in the other room. Cool, cool. And another Mike and I camera comic. Mike and I camera candy comic. The case of the not so thin man. I'll put this in my comic book rack collection in my office. All right. So let's go ahead and save here since we did finally make some progress. Even ass backwards ascetic cults need scotch tape sometime? It is just incredibly windy. Oh, there's a guy right there. He's going down this way. Oh, God! Sure. Sure, we're going to roll with it. That's fine. That's fine. Not gonna think about that too hard. It's all good. All right. Use the key in the armoire. Aha! Booga booga booga. Don't don't say that, thanks. Don't, don't don't be like that. All right. So we've got the missing pharaoh mask that we need back in that office. Go ahead and save again. I, yeah, I'm invisible tactics. I'm, I'm thinking ostrich thoughts is what I'm doing. Just bury my head there. Why is Tex like this? That's the ultimate mystery of this series. Tex, why are you like this? There's a dude right there. Just need to get back to the headmaster's office. Just need to get back to the headmaster's office. All right, cool, cool. We're in. Wait for the door to shut. I feel safe. All right. All right, Pharaoh Mask is up. Now, what do I do with them? Are there any clues in here? I don't see any clues, no. All right, so I can rotate them. What what do I rotate them to? Well, blind ass guessing isn't helping. Pharaoh heads like this around anywhere. It's an Egyptian mask. I don't recall any off the top of my head. Hopefully there's some sort of clue for this one, unlike the uh, checkers puzzle earlier. Good job, no one can hear those loud grinding noises. Oh my god. <laughs> Stupid P.I., you made me look bad. <laughs> Hey, Stubby! Welcome in. How are you doing today, Stubby? Hope everything's going well with you. Let's see, back here, I don't see any feral masks on these. Uh, nothing obvious. They're kind of low resolution, so I don't think I'm supposed to look at those. 
Only 256 different positions. Is that all? Well, ease peas then. No problems. Wait, hang on. Aha! A bookmark. A simple bookmark. Or is it? Something stashed between the books right there. I would not have found that. That's brutal. Hey, Valkos! Welcome in and happy holidays, dude! How are you doing today? Let's take a closer look at that bookmark. And the bookmark is just straight up the solution to the puzzle. It's a bookmark. Alright. So, let's see. Left, down, right, up, I think. Left, down. Alright, cool. Sweet. Alright. What do we got here? And it's a security station, and it's only monitoring one cell. And it's Bower's cell, alright. So we've turned off the lights to Bower's cell, which means we should be able to slip in there now, so that's good. Alright, thank you for the GG zig, I appreciate this, this has been brutal, I'm gonna save again. And let's see if we can get over to Bower's office. My Christmas was fantastic, got to relax, got to hang out. Uh, got some very cool swag. Had some fun streams as well. How about yours, Valkos? How's everything going on your end? Alright, so Bowers is down this way. Come on, come on, I'm making a break for it! This is Mason Bowers' cell. No! Oh, we need to... I need to find all seven letters for this sign. But I found six of them. I know what the code is. I know what the code is. The game's not going to let me do it until I've actually seen all of them, is it? Do I need to look at the plaques? Is that a thing, too? God, if I have to actually look at the plaques in game, then we've made very little progress here. Obedience. God, I do have to look at all the plaques. Shit. Serenity. Damn it. Authority. Oh, God. Mistakes have been made, chat. Peace. All right, so that's confirmation. That's the, uh, the last letter I was missing. So the word is supreme. We know that. Shane, you forgot the difference between what you know and what your character knows? Yeah, the classic tabletop mistake right there. I assume the game developers would be able to let me differentiate in this case, at least. Did you finally get a pasta machine so you could refill your pasta covered myself? But then I wouldn't be able to commit pasta aggression. I love doing that. Apparently texting is a bookmark sounds like, hey, <laughs> seriously, Bob? Oh, that's hilarious. Ninja foodie from the folks, among others, sweet loot. Oh, sweet. Thanks, Velkos. I will definitely check that out. Tedium 12. <laughs> and there was a guy with a flashlight. I think he turned the corner, though. Yeah, he turned the corner. Purity. Oh, crap. I might get caught here. Nope, we're good, we're good. All right, I need to get the two in here. I think I might have all of them, I'm not sure. We'll head over to Mason's cell and check after this. Oh, come on. All I need to do is tag the two boards in here and I might have all of them. All right, time does not pause when we know a menu though, so. Wisdom. Rebirth. Alright, do I have all the letters? I need to find all seven letters for this sign. No, I do not! Damn it! I'm 
I'm not sure which ones I'm missing. Where's he going? Going back that way. All right, I already got that one. And now we're looping back around. Where are the ones I'm missing? That is an excellent question. All right, I'm gonna pop my head in here real quick. Take a look at my inventory. Oh no, I do have all seven letters. I need to find seven circled red letters. Yeah, I have all. Oh, so I need to use them on the as an item now. I think is what I have to do. All right, all right. Get over there and use the code on the door. Alright. Sweet! Bowers? Mason Bowers. Anybody home? Bowers? Yeah, you don't remember anything, do you? I'm gonna have to bring something back to cut you out of here. No. They told me. I'm scared. Yeah, yeah, I'm scared too. But these people, they're trying to hurt you. I'm here to help you, okay? But to do that, I need your help. Look, have you got anything, anything at all that I can use? Anything in your pockets? Just, just this. Yeah, those are nice. I need them. Set those are mine. Relax. Stay here. Those are mine. Yeah, I'll be back. And you have a great those day. Those are mine. Those are mine. Thief! 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 Come back here! What did you do? Thief! Those are mine! Thief! You come back here! You come back! Seeing Bauer so unbalanced and paranoid was not a real confidence builder on what the future had in store for me. I'm dealing with something far beyond my level of expertise, and I need some professional advice from my new best friend, Dr. Kate Donahue. Day six! Masonic Rituals, or One Jumped Out of the Cuckoo's Nest, or Mason Masonic Rituals, I suppose. What are you going there for the pun? Glad to see you're still alive. Yeah, I'm sure you are, since I haven't paid my first bill. So your test results came back. Have you ever been in the military or undergone any behavioral therapies? Well, one of my exes tried to put me in obedience school. Does that count? Back around 2020, a controversial therapy was developed, initially to help victims of trauma. It was known as a trance inducer. Nanites were used to target specific memories, blocking brain signals, essentially erasing the traumatic memories. The military started to use it to treat post-traumatic stress. But then they and other government agencies discovered more off-label purposes. And somehow it's ended up in my system. Whoever injected you coupled it with a verbal cue, a trance key. It's a phrase spoken to trigger a response. To restore your memory, you need an antidote serum known as a trance interrupter, and then the trance key. Great. Uh, now could you tell me where I might find those? That's the bad news. But if you get the serum and your key, your recall should be strong as ever. Yeah, I'll try and remember that. <sighs> All right. So there is a way to reverse the memory loss, at least. That's a thing. Hey, Broken Crow, welcome in. How are you doing today, Broken Crow? How's your holiday going? Wookie, welcome in. Hope you're doing good. Glad to have you with us. What year and what platform is this on? This is on PC. It originally came out in 2014. Let's see. Telecomies, good morning to you as well. How's everything going with you? Hope you're doing good. Uh, let's see. Let's ask about ourselves again. Let's just keep this professional, shall we? It's okay. I just wanted the points. 
Uh, ask about Taylor? I don't think you could do much better. And yes, I mean that the way it sounded. It's the same thing she said last time, but I want the points. Uh, Louis? I believe he runs a diner over by Telegraph Hill. He does. Uh, let me ask you about my memory loss. I've dealt with many cases of amnesia, but nothing exactly like this. That's fair. Uh, what can you tell me about the serum? I've checked around, and it's not stocked by any medical facilities. Naturally. Uh, what can you tell me about my trance key? You'll need your trance key to restore your memory. And the only way you'll find it is to get it from the person who injected you with the trance inducer. Shoot. And how about Bauer's trance key? I have no idea what the trance key might be, of course. But it would likely be a short, fairly unique phrase. Uh, all right. How long was it since the previous game? I mean, in-game it's been seven years, in the universe of Tex Murphy. Out of game, as far as the release time between this game and the previous game, was 14 years! Which is insane. Would you kindly? <laughs> if only it were that easy. 14 years! That's so long. So long! Before I return to say San, I'll need a laser blade to cut Bowers free. The trance interrupter serum and its trance key. All right, so three things we need to get: laser blade, trance interrupter serum, and uh, Mason's trance key. Gotcha. We've got a video message. Let's check that out. Mr. Murphy, please tell me you have news about Mason. He's being held at a place called Say San, which is some crazed cult where the lunatics are in charge. I'm not going to alert the police because they might dispose of Mason. I think I better handle this myself. But why would you put yourself in so much danger? Because someone's taken seven years of my life from me and I want it back. If there's a way I can discover what happened and somehow restore my memories, I'll take that chance. Well, I hope you do get that chance. My name is Thompson Alt. I'll get back with you soon. Good luck, Mr. Murphy. All right, so that's the guy that was supposed to meet with Mason at the beginning of the game and is stashing something in a cryo chamber for Mason. Interesting. All right, no faxes. How are we doing on the collectibles? Ooh, we're not doing bad. We're still missing eight, I think. I don't know if we're going to be able to get all those, but that would be cool. I would like that. All right, a lightsaber? I would love to have a lightsaber, that would be badass. Find out he's a super soldier? That'd be kind of badass. Tex Murphy's super soldier? Please. More questions? Why you gotta keep coming back with more questions? Honestly, I enjoy bothering you, Zach. Uh, could you give me a laser blade? You think we got something that expensive here? And you know you gotta have a license to carry one, right? Look, I have one of my own. I'll give it to you, but only if you swear that it squares us up. Oh, well, that was easy. Uh, do you know anything about trans interrupter serum? Sorry. Uh, do you know what Mason Bauer's trans key might be? I don't know if this has anything to do with this trans key you're talking about, but after that 48 Pandian flew off, I circled back. I took a quick look around and saw a fresh hypo on the ground along with a few cards. I grabbed them. If you want them, just don't tell the cops I gave them to you. Mm, interesting. I forgot about the baseball card. Well, these baseball cards may open the drawer in Mason Bauer's safe. All right. So, we need to head back to Mason Bauer's place. This laser blade can help me free Mason Bauer's from Sen. These four of clubs cards were found scattered all over the alleyway by Zack after the abduction. I think Bauer's trance interrupter key may be the phrase four of clubs. All right, cool, cool. We're getting somewhere there. Is this a severed head like the one in Texas old water cooler? We actually found the water cooler with the head in it in an alley in this game. It's horrifying. Yeah, we do seem to have all the uh, baseball cards, so we can head back there. So let's do that, actually. Let's uh, head back to Mason's place and see if we can get in the safe there. I'm going to save first, though. Because we did solve all those puzzles and finally get the hell out of there. I would definitely like to save now that we're past there. Beach house. Before I return to Say San, I'll need a laser blade to cut Bowers free. 
the trance interrupter serum, and his trance key. Man, this is a nightmare. I fly back to the beach house to see if the cards Mason had on him can be used here. When I arrive, there's a familiar face waiting at the door, looking for an update. You found Mason. Is he okay? Well, physically, but mentally he's had a taste of his own medicine and doesn't suit him. Where is he? It's a place called Seisan, and I can't tell whether he's being held for his own protection or against his will. So, what do we do now? If we don't know why he's there, we shouldn't get the police involved, right? Yeah, these boys play for keeps. I'm afraid if we uh, break in on him, Mason may disappear for good. You said you don't think he knows who he is. What does that mean? He's been shot up by something called the Trance Inducer. And if we don't get Mason's memory back, all three of us may be stuck at this dead end. I'm so grateful you're doing this. I don't know who else I could turn to. I still care for Mason, but we haven't been close in a long time. You seem so tough and self-reliant. Well, being a PI is a very rough business. Isn't the rough business always more exciting? Maybe when Mason is back to his normal state and out of danger. Look, I'm no hero. I'm doing this to get my memory back. But perhaps later we could talk about this. Perhaps is so full of possibilities. Is there a more intriguing or tantalizing word? Uh, perhaps. But right now I've got to find something to help me get Mason out of say sin. I'll leave you to it. Good luck, Tex. I've got to go. But you know how to get a hold of me if there's anything you need. This is definitely the horniest of all Tex Murphy games by a lot. I don't get it. I just don't get it. These women, why are they interested in you? Maybe you need to get your optical sensors checked. Wow, oh, between Ariel, Taylor, and the look Mojo was giving you, I'd say losing seven years has done wonders for your charisma. Hey, have you considered wiping a few more? Oh, and that was a nice cat suit, by the way. Can we pick up one in my size? Didn't even mention Sapphire there? For shame. <laughs> Let's see, Valkos, you saw the new Spider-Man Christmas Eve, no spoilers, but you loved it, that is so good to hear. I'm excited about it, I might wait until it comes on TV though, but I do want to see it. Eric Director, welcome in, hope you're having a good holiday, glad to see you. <laughs> God, that cabin. Alright. Let's head in there, we know where the puzzle is, I think we've got all the components for it now, so... Let's see what we can do. Uh, let's see. All right. No, it's downstairs, right? Yeah, it should be in his office, I think. So let's see. Do I need to combine this with the other baseball cards? Oh, for crying out loud. I don't. Let's see if I can just use these here. That accomplished nothing. Um, do I need to use the other one here? That accomplished nothing. Hmm. Well. This frame needs nine baseball cards. But I have nine baseball cards. Well, these baseball cards may open the drawer in Mason Bauer's safe. The drawer in his safe? What? Wait, what? Am I still missing a baseball card? Was I supposed to have found another one by now? I thought I really scoured this place. I don't know, it's possible I'm still missing one. That's kind of weird. Got a Mickey Mouse, Walt, Willy Wonka coffee mug, and scream on DVD. That's a nice haul there, Eric Director. Congratulations. And hey, Punisher, welcome in. How are you doing today, Punisher? Hopefully everything is going good for you. I feel like I must be missing a baseball card still. Like I said, last time we were here, I was just assuming... Just sort of assuming that uh, the last one must not be here, because I thought I searched every nook and cranny. 
But now I'm wondering if maybe I was wrong and there might still be something here somewhere. Precious commodity it really is. Scantron, how are you doing today? Hope you are having a good weekend. So far. It's been a while since we've been back here. But uh, we'll search everything real carefully. Make sure I didn't miss anything last time. Up oh, hand. Move that baseball cap down. I bet there was something under it right there. I probably already did that one then. I can't even see on the top shelf there. Yeah, I'm assuming the, the card was under that one the first time. Alright, so I already did that probably. Nothing behind there. Keep looking here. Rainbow Six. I miss the old Rainbow Six. I used to love those games. And I really love the tactical aspect. And they haven't really put that in those games in a very long time. Which is, if you ask me, a crying shame. Because that was a really cool uh, part of it. We didn't find anything in the fridge last time. I wonder if maybe we missed something in one of these. Or actually, there's something in the stove, I think. Tried to make a hard-boiled egg using one of these. That was a big mistake. That was a big mistake, Tex. You're bad at things. Um... God, we already searched this place before. There wasn't much in here. And I don't think there's anything in here still. Is he having a good weekend thus far? Hope everyone is too. I definitely am. Can confirm. Ah, the bathroom, right. We have been in here before as well. We searched this one pretty thoroughly too. I don't think I'm missing anything in here. Hmm. And we'll check upstairs again then. We're not seeing anything down here. Let's see. There's a new game called Ready Your... Oh yeah, I have seen uh, somebody been suggesting that. Just like the old SWAT or Rainbow Six games where you command a squad in various situations. Have you tried that one at all, Cyber? Because if you've, if you've got experience with it, I would love to hear if you like it or not. Because that is one that's been popping up on my Steam recommendations, but I haven't had time to look into it yet. So if you have tried it and it was legit, that might be something I need to look into. Man, the old Rainbow Six games are good. Uh, let's see. I'm not seeing anything. Usually, even if something is in a container, it'll sparkle once you get close to it with the flashlight. But I'm not seeing anything here. No? Nothing hidden back here or something that I missed? I can't actually interact with the MRI machine, even though there's a bunch of shiny looking buttons on it. Nothing to do there, unfortunately. No, I'm not seeing anything. Huh. I might have to look this one up. Because we've got a bunch of baseball cards right now, but the game doesn't seem to want to let me put this in there. I'm wondering if maybe this is a different baseball card from the ones I need. That's a possibility. Well, these baseball cards may open the drawer in Mason Bauer's safe. Well, that was stupid. Let's see, I can't just use these on these slots, unfortunately. Man, I don't even know what I was trying to do. Classic. These baseball cards are great collectibles. Hmm. That's weird. Can we count the cards we have? We can't look at them any more than that. It just shows this one image with a one in the corner and says that there's supposed to be... Or we know there's nine slots there. That's about it. Yeah, I tried combining these as well. That doesn't work. Yeah. <laughs> 
yeah, that'll work. <laughs> so I'm not sure. I said, I didn't, but I watched someone play. It was like the old school ones with the new graphics. Of course, you can play with four of your friends, too. That is awesome. I actually, the very first time I ever played uh, Rainbow Six was the uh, N64 version. And I played co-op with a friend, and it was just a fantastic time. All right, so let's uh, let's get a little bit of hint here. I believe this is on UHS. I mean, there's a little red thing on top of the baseball card inventory. Is that the number? Yes, that is the number. So I have... I have eight of these baseball cards. And we know there's nine slots. Uh, but I haven't been able to find a ninth one like this. Now, we got this for storyline reasons recently. But I don't seem to be able to combine that with the other ones. And he sent something about a drawer, so I think that might be something different. So, yeah, we still only have a stack of eight cards here. So, we may still be missing one. But if we are still missing one of these, I have no idea where to find it is the problem. Have you examined it? Yes. So if we examine this... Classic. These baseball cards are great collectibles. It just says they're collectible. And if we examine the other one... Well, these baseball cards may open the drawer in Mason Bauer's safe. I'm not sure what safe he's talking about. Or what drawer. Like I said, I assume it has something to do with that, but I could be wrong. Maybe he's talking about a different safe somewhere, I guess? I'll keep looking. Want to know what about the safe and whatnot? Sure. Like I said, I'm guessing the safe's somewhere else. So I'm looking around some more. Oh, maybe in here? Is this the safe he's talking about? No, there's no drawer in here, I don't think. It's in Bower's study. I thought that's where we were. Yeah, I think this is a study. I believe so, anyway. So yeah, now we're back. So I think it's still this, possibly. Shane in the study with the baseball cards. That would be accurate. Yeah, I still think it has something to do with this. But we've only got eight baseball cards. And it's not letting me interact. I've got to be missing something. Anything behind pictures? No, we searched the hell out of this place. Shane's <laughs> card laid down. I am always down for Darmok jokes. Literally always. Literally at any moment, I love Darmok so much. There are nine baseball cards. Damn it, I'm missing one. Oh, God. I have been, I've scoured this house so many times, I don't know where I'm going to find that last one. That is a problem, then. That is a very big problem. So somewhere in this house, there's a ninth baseball card that I have to find. Shit. That's bad. All right. Well, I guess let's go over every square inch again. I'm going to get the locations of the cards. If that's not too much trouble, I can look them up myself otherwise, but I think that's about where we're at. I am so tired of searching this house. That's why I abandoned it originally. I'm like, oh, we must get the ninth card somewhere else because I've looked everywhere. And I'm not seeing it. That's just that hat again. All right, teapot on the table. We got that one. Let's see. Let's keep looking. Sofa pillows. I think we found that one. Nothing adds personality to a room like throw pillows. Oh no! Wait! There we go! That's interesting. Son of a bitch! How did I miss that? God, that's maddening. Alright, we have them all. Rin, thank you so much. Luckily, it was only number two on the list. Woo! Alright, I was gonna be irritated if it was number nine. <laughs> All right, so do we just put them in order? That seems almost too simple, but we're gonna try it. I don't want to overthink this if that's all it is. That's not all it is, damn it. 
Oh, it says 17 in the middle. Maybe it's sort of like a magic square where I have to make all three sides add up to 17. His eyes open. <laughs> all right, so let's see if we can make all three sides add up to 17. I bet that's what the next puzzle is. All right, so let's see. What do we got here? We got 6, 10, 12, 13. So we've got uh, 12 right there, so we'd make that add up. We need to change that to a uh, 5. So let's go ahead and swap a 5 in there. That means on this side we've got 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's 18. Let me swap that. And then that's way too much. That is way too much in that case. Um, so, so we can swap the six and that two, but that doesn't really help anything because the side is way too much. All right, let's take these out. Let's start from scratch. Let's just start from scratch then. Uh, so let's work with a nine first, because I imagine that's probably going to be the trickiest one to work with. Because that's a big old number. Let's put a 1 right there. That's 10. And then let's put a 3 and a 4. Sure. So that's 17. So then on this side, we've got the lowest number, 1. So we need to add some big numbers. So let's put that. That gets us a 9. Uh, so then we need an 8. Can we make an 8 out of what we got? We cannot. All right, so we're already screwed there. So let's see. Let's replace a three and a four. Uh, let's see. Let's, see. let's do a five and a two, maybe? All right, that's still 17 over there. Over here, we got nine. We need to make it eight. Uh, which we still cannot do. Did I have it? it was six and two? Did I mess it up already? I might have. Yeah, I think the problem is I'm looking at some of these that aren't in slots, and I think they are in slots, and it's throwing me off. Let's see, we've got a nine... All right, that should be 17. So do we have what we need over here? That's nine, 14. Yeah, I think we're good. Sweet, Whew. good catch there, Shenanan. Oh, all right. Hmm, lots of cash, usually a sign of illegal activity. I'll say. Pawn Weekly may be even sadder than that Cat Weekly magazine. Pawn Weekly? What the heck are we supposed to do with that? Rook Garner shows his collection of Nikola Tesla artifacts. Looks like Bowers was interested in some Nikola Tesla artifacts from Rook's pawn shop. Alright. The drawer inside this safe needs two additional cards. Whatever's in here must be so important that Mason Bowers keeps both the cards with him at all times. Take the money too, unfortunately, uh, text is too much of a goody-goody to do that. But we do have the two additional cards as well. Now, what's in the drawer? This must be the trans interrupter medication. And there's only one dose. Damn it! Alright, there's only one dose, but that's what we need. So, just to recap. We do have a laser blade. We do have the trans interrupter serum. And we do have what we believe is the trans key. So, we've got everything to snap Mason Bowers out of it at this point. So, there's one particular type of magazine that we're trying to collect. A comic book, actually, called Mike and Ike Hammer. There is a small secret that you get for collecting them all. I've never personally seen it, but I've heard about it. I don't know if we're going to get it this game, though. I'm trying, though. I'm trying. Chinese, let's catch up on chat sometimes. Sometimes. All right. A Harvester sequel? That would be a huge secret. All right, let's head back to Saison then. Hey, 
Jason! How are you today? How's everything going here at the camp? Four clubs. Four clubs. Four clubs, Mason. Come on, come on, wake up. Come on, don't be deaf, dumb, and stupid. Please, Mason, wake up. So, that's it. Come on. Come on, come on. Tex, where are we? Ugh. We're in Say Sin, and we gotta move fast. Is that the trans interrupter? What have you done? Um. Ah, you can thank me later. But you restored my memory. I'm the one who blocked it. What? What? Why the hell would you do that? Oh God! Now they can find out everything I know. How could you do this? Oh, well, maybe because I want my memory back. Your friend said you're the only one who could help. My friend? Yeah, the one who came for the cryo chamber. So he has it. The cryo chamber's safe? Yes, he has it. So where do I get more serum? There's only one dose and you're safe. And what the hell's my trance key? Margaret injected you. She's the only one who could have helped you. Yeah, and she's dead. And I'm pretty sure her head was the main ingredient in that soup can of yours. Why'd you cut off her hand? I didn't. It was Maldonado. I, I don't think I could have done it. Yeah, well, don't mince words, because it was your idea. Margaret double-crossed us. She came up with her own plan, but I think we stopped her before she could give it to the translator. Well, you don't come across as totally insane. She knew things, but she'd given up hope. However, some of us still believe. It wasn't fair of her to take those things to the grave. And I have the technology to tap what's inside her memories. Even after death. Well, I stand corrected. You are insane. You were in on it with us. We were all looking for the Tesla egg. But you're the one who found it in the wall of your apartment. I was still working from the inside, letting you all know what the translator was doing. By then, Margaret had stolen the egg and disappeared. I was afraid she'd switch sides, so I heard Maldonado do Svelance on the Ritz, hoping she'd show up. Yeah, and she did. She and that big mutant came by and injected me. I caught up to her at the door of her apartment. All I wanted to do was talk, but she clutched her chest and collapsed. Dead before she hit the floor. Decapitation was a last resort. So when does the abduction come in? I called Maldonado just when the translator's henchman arrived. Maldonado brought the cryo chamber while I created a diversion. While they were chasing me, he did the deed. Then I used the transinducer on myself. We'll rendezvous with my friend. We gotta find that egg before the translator does. All right, but let's swing by and get your wife, too, because she's been worried sick about you. My wife? I don't have a wife. Very good, Tex. You continually impress. Oh, no. The cryo chamber. It holds your answers. Don't let him find it. Welcome back, Tex. You certainly have a gift for making things interesting. Yeah, it's a gift that just keeps on giving. I assume you have no idea who we are. Well, let me just save some time here. I have no memory of you or anything else since this bastard here shot me and my girlfriend seven years ago. Yes. Margaret made sure of that, didn't she? Willing to die just to keep you out of the equation, undermining me at every turn right up until the end. I need to know one thing. Did you kill Chelsea? You could say that. Don't move. It's a long story, Tex. Maybe some other time. Just tell me what happened to Chelsea. Dalton, would you please answer Tex's question? My pleasure. We'd stolen your speeder, of course. After I sedated you and Chelsea, you were taken to a place where we could search your memories for leads to Margaret Leonard's whereabouts. When that failed, I staged Chelsea's death, attempting to draw Leonard out of hiding. We left identifiable DNA inside your burned-out speeder. Which, incidentally, was uninsured. Leonard didn't fall for it, unfortunately. Eventually, we let Chelsea go. 
and I never saw her again. This was all before I returned. I've never seen Chelsea. I haven't seen her either, as far as you know. There's a lot to process here, holy crap. Nano, I see your redemption, we will get to that in just a second. James Moore, welcome in. I did have a nice holiday. How about yourself, James? How are you doing? Rin, you like that portable plasma cutters exist in the future? Apparently they're regulated. Uh, Zach mentioned something about needing to have a license for it, but I'd like to have one. Most definitely. That's the enthusiasm holster. He did have the Heisenberg look going with the big glasses and the, uh, the hat and a little bit of stubble. That was wild. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right. Um... So Chelsea's alive, somewhere. I don't know, or care. And you are? I am the translator. Is translating your profession or a hobby? It is my mission and my destiny. Well, I guess that makes a million and two questions that I have. Everything would be a lot easier if you just unlock my memory. I would if I could, Tex, believe me. Unfortunately, Margaret took your trance key to her grave. What? I'm supposed to believe that I'm on your guys' side for whatever's going on here? That's right. We're all in this together. We're united in a common goal. It was a goal Margaret and I used to share many years ago. But she lost hope after I died. You're Joe Hansen? Margaret Leonard's husband? The FBI agent who stole the Tesla cash? I am. Wow. And I did. But when I learned what we'd taken from Tesla and buried in our vaults, what amazing technologies he had to offer the world, it became my dream to complete his work. But then I was diagnosed with terminal cancer. I had little time left, so we decided that I should be preserved in a cryogenic state in hopes that a cure could be found someday. But now you're here alive again, so who's the one who brought you back? Margaret refused. She said it wasn't safe yet. I tried to pressure her and she disappeared. In the end, it was Mason who completed the reanimation. What was it like? Indescribable. I saw eternity. And I returned with a renewed sense of purpose. I finally saw the true vision of Tesla's work. So if Mason brought you back, why did he turn against you? Margaret can be very persuasive. I think she convinced Mason that my work was too risky. But she couldn't convince you, Tex. Uh, I'm a little lost here. Why do you need me? Margaret held one last piece of the puzzle. The Tesla egg. It is the nucleus of the atom. Without it, the spirit radio has little effect. But with it, the veil between living and dead will vanish. And we will all exist within the immortal coil. We have work to do. You're free to go, Tex. These guys must be playing some kind of mind trick on me. This has got to be a setup of some kind. Tex, buddy, I'm afraid I haven't been totally straight with you. But over the last seven years, you have become a lying, womanizing, duplicitous, two-timing cutthroat who plays both sides against the middle for money and is partners with the gentleman who just left the room. I thought you could just walk away from the person you'd become, but I see that fate may have something else in mind. Well, this got excessive. Jeez. Day seven. And yes, James, that is uh, Tom Servo right there from Mr. Science Theater. The Talking Dead, or Lost in Translation. After I returned from Say San, I called Alt to tell him Mason Bowers had taken a 40-foot leap. The guy was so broken up, he hung up the phone. I'm not sure if Bowers' death ended Alt's interest in this whole sorry mess, but my gut tells me I'll need his help if I'm ever going to solve this case. I decided to visit St. Germain to find more information about the Tesla egg. So, how goes the investigation? I don't suppose you have any news regarding that egg we talked about. Well, 
Everybody's talking about the Tesla egg, but I think I've got a lead on it. Ah, the egg of Columbus, the copper egg. Unveiled by Tesla at the Chicago World's Fair in 1893, it was the very heart of a small prototype that, some say, would become his most notorious invention. But you seem underwhelmed, and that's not good. You know the story of Tunguska? Well, I do now. If you believe, as many do, that the Tunguska explosion was caused by the Tesla death ray, and you believe that the Tesla egg is a core component of the death ray, well, then the egg would be of immense fortune. Tell me, what do you believe, Mr. Murphy? I believe you know a lot more than you're telling me. Are you familiar with Paradise Lost? Isn't that one of those resorts for swingers? <laughs> Paradise Lost is a poem about the great divide in heaven when Lucifer was cast out. After his banishment, Lucifer swore revenge and created an army of his own. He and his followers waited in darkness for their chance to strike back at the god who cast them out. After a three-day battle against the faithful angels, the forces of evil were banished from heaven for all eternity. Oh, I like it when the good guys win. Yes. But what if the war were not over? What if Lucifer had not been defeated but lay in wait, preparing for his chance to overthrow heaven? Well, debating hypothetical fairy tales a little nerdy for me. Look at the world around you. Did heaven win the battle? Man has created hell on earth. And the longer man exists, the further he descends from the wisdom and discernment needed to overcome the darkness. At his core, He's a grasping, clawing, foolish creature, willing to commit any sin to appease his base and greedy nature. I thought I was jaded. You really think we're as bad as all that? There are still some who give me hope. You, I'm not sure about. Your role, whether for good or evil, has yet to be determined. He's not so bad. Does he have the egg? <laughs> no, my dear. Entirely the wrong egg. An interesting trinket, to be sure, but not the egg I'm searching for. Well, if it isn't Ariel Bowers. You know, I hope I pronounced that correctly, because Bowers doesn't have a wife. Great work, Detective. How long did that take to figure out? Not long, after Bowers told me. I have to confess, I haven't been totally honest with you on some things. Just some? I didn't know who you were when you first interrupted my own search of Bower's place. And what were you doing there? I work for an organization you wouldn't have heard of. We're based out of St. Petersburg. In Florida. Russia. How about you? I don't work for anyone. Just the greater good. And... My own little passions, of course. Ariel and I have crossed paths on several occasions. This time we seem to have some objectives in common, so we pooled our resources. Yeah, I'm well familiar with Ariel's resources. How common are your objectives and mine? That depends. You the kind of man who lets innocent people die? Uh, not normally, no. You've heard of the Tesla Legacy Society. At one time, it had a membership of hundreds. After Charles Johansson died, the numbers dwindled. Some time ago, all those people vanished without a trace. I had hoped to find some answers from Bowers. Oh, I got news for you. He's not dead. He's back. He's the translator, I presume. The one building the immortal coil. You say you like it when the good guys win? You plan on doing anything about that? Oh, sure. Leave it to me, as always. What are you two going to do about it? This is not my battle to fight. He knows me. I won't be able to get close to him like you can. You shall have to find the test the reg first. Of course. Great. I didn't even think of that. 
Well, if you don't have any more helpful tips... Until we meet again, Mr. Murphy. And something tells me we will. Until next time. Kiss for luck. You'll need it. After visiting with St. Germain, the former Mrs. Bowers invites me to a place called the resort and says she has information to exchange. Right. Well, well. If it isn't Dudley do right. Caught me red handed. Uh, all right, this is getting interesting. <laughs> Let's see. Velcro's one of your favorite metal albums. It's called Paradise Lost by Symphony X. Small world! Small world! Let's see. The greater good. Hey, Cirrus, I'm doing good. How about yourself? How was your holiday? <laughs> and let's see. Nano, you invested in a Harvester sequel about 15 minutes ago. But man, we have been drowning in cinematics here. My apologies. But, Nano, you have been, I hope, very patient waiting for that uh, redemption because we've all been very patient waiting for a Harvester sequel. It's been a little while, certainly, but, you know, that doesn't mean anything. Good things take time, be it a, a couple years, uh, a couple decades, a uh, millennia or two. You know, you don't want to rush things. You never want to rush greatness. If it takes, you know, a few geological eras... Who are we to judge? Not me, certainly. I'm gonna keep waiting, keep hoping, and keep telling everybody it's the thing that's just right around the corner. You just watch. And Nano, thank you for that redemption. I appreciate that. <laughs> oh, God. Or 14 years! 14 years! <laughs> the wrong timeline! We might be in the wrong universe at this point, John. I gotta, I gotta admit that at least. An aeon or two, you know, give or take a few centuries in there. You never know. You never know. All right. So, um, this lady says she has some information. Let's see what we can uh, find out here. And if it isn't Natasha Vitale, you and Boris Barinov have certainly pulled a fast one on me. Saint Germain isn't part of this. He's a collector looking for the Fabergé egg. I'm an agent looking to infiltrate the translator. Oh, so now you're a secret agent. What's next? Can we be a pirate? No, I really am. The organization I work for, you couldn't pronounce it, but in English it's called the White Guard. We've been monitoring the translator for years. We've had our eye on you as well. So are you going to interrogate me? I have so much to confess. Oh, what happened? Oh, I'm sure you do. You seem to know a lot about this immortal coil thing. I'll be honest. I need your help, Tex. And I can help you. But I had to find out where your loyalties were. Really? Well, what about me? When do I find out about you and where your loyalties lie? That's why we're here, together, alone. I hope you don't mind. I took the liberty of ordering some food. Should be here any minute. I thought we could have a bite. Get to know each other a little better. Said the spider to the fly. I told you, Tex, I've had my eye on you for a while. And as you know, I'm not married. Who knows what lies ahead? What lies ahead? That may be the truest thing you've ever said to me. It's a rough world out there. Any of us could be dead tomorrow. I live in the moment. And right now, I want that moment to be with you. Mm. Oh, God. <laughs> we either get the Harvester 2 timeline or the more text of games. You can't have both. Oh, God. <laughs> it's possible, Wiki. It's possible. Oh, God, Janine. All right, you know, no, we're, we're, we had this choice before. We're sticking with the choice. We are staying true to Chelsea. Because Chelsea might still be out there somewhere. We can't give up on that now. We can't give up on that now. Ariel. 
I have any number of reasons to keep you at arm's length. But right now, I just need one. There's a woman that I care about. I might even be in love with her. And until I know for sure, I can't afford to live in the moment. No matter how gorgeous or enticing that moment might be. I know things. Things you might want to know. I'm sure that you do. But if they come with strings attached, I'm not interested. Okay, I promise. No strings attached. That must be the food. I'm just going to change real quick. No, no, no changing! <laughs> Okay. I need to get this out before you say anything. Taylor! I get it. You don't know me anymore. But I know you, and I'm not just going to give up on what we had. It may not have been much, but I wanted it to be much, and I'm here just to see if you'll give us one more chance. Please. Please. No! 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 Stop this, both of you! Both of you! Stop! 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 Game, you shall not lead me down the last path of temptation. No, 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 stop it. No, we're, we're sticking with Chelsea. <laughs> uh, we're, we're sticking with Chelsea. We are not changing our minds on this. We know for a fact she's alive. We know for a fact she is alive now more than ever. We have every reason to stick with her. So we're doing that. We are doing that. We are choosing Chelsea. Look, I know seven years have passed. I realize that. But to me, it's yesterday. I'm in love with Chelsea, and if there's any chance that I can find her and that she's alive, I can't commit to any other woman. I hope you find what you're looking for, Tex. I really do. And if you ever decide to let go of the past, come look me up. I might still be here. Oh, Taylor. I wish just once I'd had a man love me like you love this Chelsea person. Who is she? Uh, be respectful to Chelsea. She's the reason you've got to leave. Okay, I'll leave. But I may be back tomorrow. Boy, resisting both Taylor and Ariel took all the willpower I could muster. They're both incredibly tempting in their own right. I feel Chelsea's out there somewhere. I know in my soul she's the perfect one and I need to find her. As I contemplate my next move, I get a call from Archie who says he has a lead for me and I should come over right away. <laughs> I'm trying to be legit here, Punisher. I'm trying. I'm trying. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'm sorry, John. I'm sorry. I don't mean to break anybody's heart. Especially not these two lovely ladies. They seem very nice. But we know Chelsea's out there somewhere. So we're going to keep waiting. Keep waiting. Gotta keep hoping. Go ahead and save here. And then let's go talk to Archie. See what Archie's got to say. All right. Archie's over this way. Ah, Punisher, I can respect that as well, most definitely. It is in the highlights, this is true. This is true! So have you heard any more about the Tesla cash or Margaret Leonard? I mean, if she can't fix it, how are you going to get your memory back? It's not just my memory, it's my life I want back. Those Morlocks, I think that there's a connection between them and Margaret Leonard. I mean, see, the other day when you, when you got knocked out, Margaret was in your apartment, right? The Morlock hunters told me they'd never seen so many Morlocks around Chandler Avenue. They said it was like something or someone was drawing them there. I mean, no one knows what they were doing around here. They were scattered after Margaret died. Now the hunters say that Quite a few of them have been showing up in one particular area outside the city. I got a location for you. 
All right. Hey, do you know anything about where I could get some more chance interrupter serum? Don't know about that. Uh, I'm worth a shot. Thanks, Archie. All right. Have we seen a Morlock yet? We have not. We've been hearing about them, but we haven't actually seen them yet, I don't believe. All right. Margaret Leonard Swamp House. So here's an interesting thing, Chet. There's actually a couple branching paths in this game. And last time I played this, because I mentioned I played this once before when it first came out, I did not get on this branch. So I don't think I've ever been to Margaret Leonard's Swamp House in my playthrough, so this is going to be new for me. Did we look around the resort room, or did we just wee out? We just wee out. And unfortunately, I don't think we can get back there, so uh, nothing there. All right, so uh, let's, let's, let's see what's down here, then. So who is Margaret Leonard, really? Is she a modern Dr. Mengele experimenting on damaged human beings for her own gratification? And why is she the critical key to my world over the last seven years? My head's still spinning when I spot the location 200 feet below me. Actually, this place looks a little familiar. Maybe I have been here before? I'm not sure. I've got a bad feeling about this. Of course, I've always got a bad feeling about this. Um, could you just go ahead and place me in a hard case? Yeah, this does look familiar. So, I know there are some locations you only visit on certain branches. No, I've definitely been here before. This looks super familiar. Although... I'm, I'm kind of getting a little bit of deja vu, because I think I've been here before, but also, this reminds me a lot of the uh, haunted hotel in Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines for some reason. Yeah, that is nice. I suppose for technical reasons, Wobbin, that makes a lot of sense. But also, Wobbin, how are you doing? I don't think I've asked you how your holiday went. Hope everything is good. Oh, there is somebody over there. So we might be in a stealth section right now. Or at least once we go over there. Yeah, I've never really been interested in yard work. Yeah, there's somebody right there, so I think we're going to have to be a little careful. Yeah, it's an Ultra Pro 900 lock. I'll need to find the key before I can open this, and it's probably in the house. Well, dang it. All right. Oh, ah, hello. Looks like I'll need five planks, a hammer, and some nails if I'm going to repair this ladder. Oh, come on! That's just excessive. Uh, why does this have to be so heavy? Well, I got a hammer at least. Looks like the demo for this game. Oh, interesting. Was this what the demo was? Very interesting then. Mind the dishes. Holidays were good. We got some nice swag. Got to play some nice games. Got some chill hangouts. Better steer clear of the waters. God knows what could be lurking in that. I'm quite happy with that. Someone's and... watching me and it's making me feel like now I could use that. Alright, so text notice that there is someone over there, so yeah. Stealth is gonna need to happen here, Ting. Which one's the fourth wall? Because I don't want to break it. Tex! Dang it, Tex. You just did. You just did. <laughs> all right keep looking oh hey yeah, it's a plank there's another one all right so we need to get some nails so that guy oh, i've only so far seen creeping around to the front entrance to the house water must be toxic i better not stick my tootsies in it all right so i can't go in the water yeah i see a guy right there I assume I'm not going to have to try uh, to avoid him. I feel like I've been shot here once before. <laughs> that does sound very Tex. Tex can swim, but it says that the water is toxic, so... 
I, you know, if I can't get my, uh, if I can't get my face melted off by a rock solo, I'd rather not do it at all. What kind of creatures was Margaret keeping in captivity? That's a good question. Are the Morlocks related to what she was doing? Man, I have an eerie feeling I'm being watched. Hmm. Well, that might come in handy. All right, there's three planks. That's good. He's just on the other side of the bridge. That's spooky. All right, let me save over here. In case anything goes wrong. Let's see, Nano, good night. Thanks for hanging out with us, Nano. You have a good rest, and we'll see you around. Is he missing a head? I don't think so. That would be worrisome if he was. Whoa. There was someone or something on the other side of this stream. I wonder if it's Mantis. I need to be careful. Sounds like he's in a homicidal mood. Alright, that's not a great. Part of the bridge has collapsed, and I shouldn't even think about trying to swim across that water. Alright, so I can't even get across the bridge right now, so presumably... The rest of the planks are over here somewhere. Alright. We need to get those nails as well, so let's keep looking. And we still don't know for sure who this mantis guy is, but... As Tex said, it sounds like somebody's got murder on their mind, so let's be a little bit careful. And let's keep looking for planks. Or, you know... That man over there could be mantis possibly it's hard to see from over here either way we don't want to get too close since he seems uh very angry what is that ah another plank well, this will come in handy that's four Watch planks that i think friend or foe. so we need one more plank and nails, and then we're good to go. Keep looking. And hopefully there's something on that roof that can help us out from there. Hopefully. Where is that last plank is the question. I think we've searched everything now. Hmm. That's worrisome. Alright. Up oh, something sparkling over here. Oh, bucket of nails. Bucket of nails is always helpful when you want to fix something. Alright, so we got that. Alright, so let's double check the inventory. Now you got four planks of hammer and nails. Can we combine the nails? Don't do that! Combine the hammer and nails? Hey, it worked! There we go. Well, I'm almost ready to start a construction project. I just need five wood planks. I still need five wooden planks, so we're still short one. Where on earth could that last one be in that case? I feel like we've searched everywhere. Must have missed something then. I mostly checked the edges, so maybe it's somewhere not by the edges? Keep looking here. Make sure it's not up high, because I always forget to check up there. Well, they could just hit the lock with the hammer. I know Tex made some sort of throwaway comment about it being sturdy, but still. Uh, let's see. Hey, buddy. You gonna murder me? I feel like you might. That gets me very concerned. Uh, let's see. Need one last plank. Now, since I'm using the flashlight and I'm on casual, I 
it should sparkle when I get close to it, but I'm not seeing anything. Like through the bars? Doesn't look like it. You bad Tex isn't in the lock the lock picking lawyer? Oh my god. That guy is an absolute monster when it comes to locks. Like I keep ex I keep expecting something to stump him, but uh no, he just tears up everything. <laughs> I don't know how he does it, but he's good. Oh, there we go. There's something there. Part of the bridge has collapsed, and I shouldn't even think about trying to swim across that water. It looks like a screwdriver. Sign says the water's toxic, but how dangerous could it be? <laughs> has there ever been a bigger idiot than you? <sighs> All right, so can't quite get to that yet. Damn it. We'll uh, have to find something that will keep us safe before we go for whatever that is. Oopsies. Oh, here we go. You know, I've always thought that wood is a key ingredient to starting any fire. We got firewood. What am I supposed to do with firewood? Looks like the shed Grandpa Murphy used to keep his moonshine business in. Can we just use some firewood? For the last plank? That'd be handy. Wood is good, especially for building fires. Apparently not. Can't just make a plank out of those? Are you trying to make an interrupt? Nope. What I don't get about the LPL is how he manages to run a legal practice and do all that. Apparently I'm told that he may have actually walked away from his legal practice to do uh, lockpicking lawyer stuff full time. Which makes sense, because he's got to be making some mad, crazy ad revenue at the moment. I would think. That's what I heard anyway. Oh, there it is. Nice. Man, some of those sparkles you have to get right on top of. All right. Thank you for the hit, though, Ren. But I th I, we finally found that thing. Finally. All right. With five planks, I could repair the ladder next to the shed. All right. So let's combine those with the nails, maybe? I'm experiencing a sensation altogether new to me, and frankly, I love it. All right, we have a ladder repair kit, which is awfully convenient. Just what I need for a repair job. Go ahead and use that. There we go, we have a repaired ladder. And there's something up here. There's Mike and I Candy Comic. It's a Mike and I Camera Candy Comic, Cinnamon Twist. I'll put this in my comic book rack back at the office. Hopefully that wasn't the only thing we're supposed to get out of this. Yeah, I fixed it, and it appears to be some sort of ladder. Alright, so we can take the ladder with us. Cool, cool. This is my final Sunday stream. Which is pretty wild. Alright. So we got the ladder. Now we need to figure out what to do with the ladder is the thing. Let's take a quick look at it. This ladder could help me go places. Presumably, but what do we do with it is the question. Oh no, Rin, I see an oh no, that's concerning. Did I just botch something real bad? I don't know what I could have botched. We do gotta figure out what to actually do with this ladder now. I might be able to use it to get across the bridge. You may have soft locked, seriously. Well, we're safe not too far back, I don't think. I hope I didn't soft lock. Ah! We can get across the bridge now. That seems promising. Whatever you do, don't do this. Oh, God. What was the thing I must not do under any circumstances? I'm curious now. I know there was some problems with routing and soft locking in version 1.0 of this game when it first came out. Oh, touch the water? Oh god. I'm hoping that was one of the things they fixed, because they did put out a couple patches. Oh, he took off running. That's interesting. Maybe we don't have to stealth from him then. 
That'd be cool. So I'm walking into something that should never exist? I mean, a lot of times it's not something that in exists intentionally. Just an oversight with the uh, software. It's still unfortunate. But yeah, I agree. <sighs> it's a card reader. I'll need to find the card before I can get inside. Alright. Pot. Yeah, looks ceramic. Alright, so we need to find a card to get in the house. Let's keep looking then. Hello. This card could be used to get in the front door. Oh, well that was easy. It's like an old frat house out here. Alright. Let's look around a little bit more out here before we go in. Although, this is the way that uh, that guy ran. I don't want to get in too much trouble. That appears he's gone. And hopefully we're not going to bump into him anytime soon. I'm a little worried about that guy. But we have a way into the house now. That's a good thing. So... It appears to be a key of some kind, dare I say, for the front door. Let's find out. It is beautiful. Who are you? Oh, God. Margaret Leonard sent me. You know, you seem like you could use a great big hug. <gasps> Friend! Slave! Killer! Slade? Are you talking Big Jim Slade? Get it! Out of my head! So, maybe some medication for you? Help me! Slade! Die! Die! <sighs> Kids, they never shut the door when they go out to play. Uh, that must be Mantis, and my guess is Margaret Leonard left some medication to control his affliction somewhere in the swamp house. Wow, alright, that's concerning. That's Todd Bridges? Holy crap. The... The guests they get for these games are just wild. Hey, Malicor, welcome in. How are you doing today? How is your weekend going? Hope everything is good. Where the heck are we now? Different entrance to the house? Weird, weird. Oh, a side entrance right there. All right, cool. So we're nearby, at least. All right. That was pretty creepy. But he might still be an ally. Nice chest. We gotta keep looking though, see what we can find. Books? Do people still read these? Books? People aside from you, Tex, yes. Aha! I never cared for pliers. Got lots of bad dental memories. Oh god. Tex! This is the only tool my dentist uses. <laughs> Just been hanging out, beating games they've been putting off. Ooh, got any in particular you want to brag about? I'd love to hear. Alright, spooky parlor. Let's see what's in here. Nothing in that drawer. Let's see what all we got in here. Man, I am making great time. This thing hasn't even moved. Damn it, Tex. Books help me become more learned. And that's why you never read them, I imagine. Oh, hello. Got it. Another Mike and Ike comic. Cool, I'll take that. You didn't even bother to comment on that one. Hey, this is a fake. As opposed to what? Well, I won't be able to use this fireplace. It's got a vent cover. I mean, I just removed the vent cover? And that is one big jackalope. Thanks! Oh, hello. Another room back here. 
How many days are in this game? How far are we in the game so far? We are on day seven, I believe? Day seven or eight? Actually, I think we're on day eight, yeah. How many are in the game? I don't remember off the top of my head, and I usually don't want to say how many there are total, just to avoid spoilers. This is too out of character to hope for parlor games? That would be pretty cool. Fully fleshed out Fallout chic RPG in the Doom Engine. Ooh. Dude, Melicore, that sounds fantastic. I hope you enjoyed it. I, th I think we're on day eight, I think. Ooh, hello. Well, another matchbook to add to my collection. Very handy when you're venturing into public bathrooms. It's a broken syringe. Interesting. Uh, so... Don't tell anyone, but I hear these make fire. All right, so we got a matchbook and we got firewood now, so maybe we need to start a fire in a fireplace. And there is empty fireplace right there. Hmm, nothing special. I bet this could increase my defense by plus five. I want it! <laughs> the heck did that do? Oh! There's a puzzle right there. I hear something changing. But I can't tell what it is. Dang it. Alright, we're gonna leave that alone until we can figure it out. You know, I love secret doors, and something in this room must trigger it open. Alright. We're getting close. Looks like I'll need some firewood. Alright, well, we've got that. Cool. Hmm, I need matches. We have those two. Ah, nice fire. Now what do we do? Okay, there's to be something we do with those. Books? Do people still read these? There's another thing over there. The cabinet lock is broken, so I'll need to find another way to open it. Interesting. Alright, so we got a bunch of puzzles in here. Ashes 2063. I might have to look into that. That sounds really cool. Might say in the save. Let's take a quick look. Oh, it says right there. Uh, day 7. Alright, I was wrong. You were correct, Rin. Good call, good call. All right, we got a sliding tile puzzle here. And I don't know what the end state is, and that's going to make things difficult. By difficult, I mean damn near impossible. So that works. Alright, we got those lined up. And those are lined up too, but I suspect they're in the wrong spots. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I hate sliding tile puzzles too. Like, if they're in a square grid, sometimes I can do them. But in this case, I don't know about this one. This is a weird arrangement for a puzzle, and I'm not really sure how to start with this one. Actually, I think it makes it harder that it's only in two rows, because... I'm not quite sure how to handle that. You know? That makes any sense? Right, I think this one goes over here. And that's actually kind of tricky. I'm not sure how to get that one over there. Really? You find the two row ones easier? No, it's so much harder for me. Phoenix Rising is a lot of those puzzles. I will have to remember to avoid it then. Mm -hmm. Um, how do I want to handle this? How do I want to handle this? Oh no, shoot! This piece goes over here. 
Dang it, that is way far away from where it needs to be. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Alright, um... have to mess this up a little bit to get it over there. Not quite sure what else I can do here. Alright, cool. That's in place now. Alright, what else do I need to do here? I got that. And this goes over there, but I'm Struggling to figure out how to get these to work now with what I got. I can get that right there. We have a big chunk lined up. Oh, wait, we have an entire row when you think about it there. I've just got to get them in the right order is the tricky part. All right, I, th I got to make a decision here. I got to figure out which is the top row and which is the bottom row. And once I do that, I can make my move. And that I'm unsure about. I think because he's got the trees, these are the top row. So I'm going to work under that assumption. And I'm going to see if I can get things moved here. No. Let's not mess things up too bad. How do I do this? Alright, so let me tell you folks what I was taught about how to do these puzzles. What I was taught is the best way to do these is don't think about moving the tiles. Think about moving the hole. Think of this as shifting the hole around. So where do I want the hole to be right now? Um, let's see, so we can get that right there. Reminds me of that weird Monty Python kind of game with the classical painting. Oh yeah, we, we did two of those now too. And we do have some uh, classical looking paintings here. Alright, so... Let's try this. Try rotating these guys. All right. Hmm. Road to Calvary and uh. Four, uh, Four Last Things was the other one, I think. Four Last Things was what it was called, but it was about the Seven Deadly Sins, so you're not wrong there. Alright, I'm not getting closer here. Um, let's see, I want this to be in the corner. I'm feeling like that's something that I do want. Um, but I need to get this other thing next to it, so I think I gotta make some sacrifices here. So let's, let's do this. Put that there. Cool. Now. Let's see, let's see if I can do this. This might be something I need to do. Oh, hey, that one goes right next to it. All right. Do we need to work with that now? Maybe? Possibly? If so, how? That's an excellent question. Shoot, I'm so bad at these. 
Oh, I hate this so much. All right, so this one needs to be in the top left, I think. And then this one, and then these two. I'm getting close to something. I just need to get this one in between there. Can I do that? I can get that right there. But do I want to do that yet? I gotta get these in the right order is the tricky thing. If I can get these in just the right order, we can make this work. Let's see, let's try this. There we go. So it looks like we've got four all in a row right there. But now I need to get this one up there and I don't think that's gonna go well for me, unfortunately. Oh, I don't see any good way to get that up there. Shoot. All right, what I want to do is I want to see if I can get the one that goes below this in place. And that's right there. Let's, let's work on that next. Let's actually work on that next. Can I get that in place? That might be the key here. See if we can make this puzzle a little bit smaller. That might be something I like. Hmm. All right, let, me, let me think, let me think here. So, I used to remember how to do this. So, place that there. There we go, all right, cool. And this piece goes right next to that. Let's see if I can get that swapped in there somehow. No, that's how I do it backwards, but John the emote. Oh my god. Oh, let's see. All right. No, that's backwards once again, but I'm close. I can get that in there. Now I got no way to get that up there, so I need to... Oh, how do I reverse that then? I'm so bad at thinking ahead here. Lone Grin, welcome in. How are you doing there? Hope you are doing well. Alright, alright, I'm close. This is the part I always get stuck at. Alright, so... Let's try this. No, that's not gonna work. What am I even doing here? Um, hmm. Yeah, that's getting me nowhere. All right, um, I need to swap these two pieces around somehow and everything I'm doing is not really cutting it. Let's see if I can do this. See if I can make a big move right here. Well, I think that's probably just gonna put me back where I was. All right, 
so I got that. No, that didn't help me at all, did it? Shoot. God, I'm so bad at this part. Um, all right. All right, so I've got this to the left of this piece. If I can get it to the right of it, that might be the change I'm looking for. So let's see, how would we do that? All right, maybe that's the key. Rotate it around like that. Did I make it worse there? I might have. Yeah, I kind of managed to make it worse. Or maybe. No. Just kept it where it was, didn't I? Yep. Shit. Oh my god, alright. I remember this took me forever when I was doing it uh, the first time as well. Just because I'm super duper bad at these puzzles. I apologize, folks. I imagine this is not super thrilling to watch. Oh. Alright, cool. We have those four in place, so in theory, we shouldn't have to touch those four again if I got everything right, which honestly... I'm not sure I did. So now I need to figure out where the rest of these go. I think this goes over here. Hey you Christensen, I am having a good holiday. How about yourself? How are you doing? Hope everything is well with you. Definitely doesn't go there. But it might go here. Alright, that does go there. Cool. So now I basically just need to do what we did before, if I can remember how to do that. Get those two pieces lined up just so. See if this will do it. I don't think that will. I think I might be onto something here. Let's try that. Kind of, maybe. Alright, this might be it. And then... Alright! We got six pieces that I like where they are. Let's see where the rest of these stand. Oh! Freedom. Sweet freedom. Thank you, John. God, what do I even get from that now? Wait, what did that do? What did that do? Nothing seems to have changed. The cabinet locked. I understand. Oh, God. Way to open it. Oh, nice fire. Well, it's solved at least. You know, I love secret doors, and something in this room must trigger it open. Oh, God damn it! We'll, we'll figure something out. All right, what do I need to do with these? All right, I was trying to see if maybe I just had to point the arrows at it. That's not it. <sighs> this is close to we'll get us a literal meat check. That is a meat check. That is actually a thing. It all sounded like everything's going good, you Christensen. Glad to hear. It could have been an optional quest, actually. It might have been. <sighs> well, I'm glad I finished it, at least. 
Want some respect from Tom? I'll take that any day of the week. Yeah, maybe we have to find the missing piece. That might be it. You want to take a look at it without me rage shaking? Sure, go right ahead. It looks finished. There are no interactables. You see something, alright. I do not see anything there. Chat sees something as well? What am I missing? Oh! Right there! Three, seven, six. Ooh! Three, seven, six, alright. You can see it better with a flashlight. All right. Three, seven, six. Cool. We got a code. I'll take that. Yeah, that's really difficult to see there. I wonder if we actually had to get the fire running for that to work, too. That'd be interesting. All right. Still not sure what to do about these. We don't have any clues for what to do about these yet, so maybe we should come back. Uh, we got plenty. We got plenty more room to explore, so there's no way to, using to jump on anything just yet. Oh, let's head upstairs. Let's head upstairs. I mean, we did have to finish Lord Hungers to progress in the game, so there was that at least. But yeah, that was a very frustrating quest. Oh, there's another one up here. That's interesting. Something big just moved, and there's smoke coming out from behind a panel. All right. What's going on here? Oh. I need to unscrew that cog from the wall before I can repair it. All right, so we need to get that screwdriver outside, but we don't know any way to grab it yet. Well, we can get downstairs. I should save. I should save. All right. Let's check down in the basement. See what's down here. Something tells me no one was coming in here for cheap eye surgery. You know, I love secret doors, and something in this room must trigger it open. Oh, I can't get down there till we finish the mechanism. All right. So we're not actually done with this puzzle yet. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, let's see if there's anything else upstairs. There's another room in here. Let's see what we got. I know tongs are great for pulling my chestnuts out of the fire. Aha! I bet I know exactly what those are for, and we're going to go take care of that right now. I bet those tongs are how we get the, the screwdriver out of the sludge outside. So let's go check that out. See if we can pull that off now. We gotta head over here. And then use the tongs. Well, that was stupid. Really? Oh! Oh, I fell in! Damn it! The water surrounding the house is extremely toxic. Avoid stepping in it. Damn it, so am I actually softlocked? That's not right. Or maybe I don't need the tongs to use that. It could be something different. But I do need to get that screwdriver somehow. Oh, hopefully there's not a bug here. That would be super frustrating. Uh, let's see, what happens if I look at the tongs? Great for grabbing things from hot places. Perfect for hot chocolate. It says hot places, so maybe that's not it. Maybe the pliers? I don't think I could probably reach it with the pliers. Guess I better not be too creative, because it won't work. No, alright. So, yeah, maybe that's something else. 
We're gonna hope we're still okay. It is younger than he is tech to crouch down that opening, but alas, he's getting along in his old age. It isn't as easy as game to make it seem. Tex is getting pretty old at this point. That is true, at least. He's getting up there in years. Crouching down does get a little tricky as you get up there in years. I can say that for certain. As far as you know, you may proceed. Oh, thank goodness. Let's hope, though. Let's live in hope. That's straight. Yummy. All right. Oops, wait, no, is there nothing in there? Here we go. This key belongs to an Ultra Pro 900 lock. Ah! So that is probably what we need to get into the shed. You have that print tomorrow? Seriously? Small world. I hope this isn't diseased. Yeah, we all hope. Whoa, that's one old vid phone. It's got a message on it, but I'll need to get Margaret's voicemail number to listen to it. Alright, fair enough. We'll keep looking then. It's an empty vial. Empty vial? It's in the ferret room! That's so cool! That's seriously wild, too, that it would be in this game as well. Oh, someone's writing their letter to Santa early this year. Alright, interesting. Candles always put me in the mood. For what? I don't know. Right, what do we got up here? I see something on the floor there. The Mike and I Hammer Candy Comic. Double Fudge Indemnity. I'll put this in my comic book rack back at the office. Not actually something I needed, but I'll take it. Alright. So, let's head out to the shed. And see if we can figure out what's in there. Just like I said, I assume that key is to the lock out here. Let's find out. Oh, thank you for the link there, Rin. That's awesome. It's an empty vial, ready for medical ingredients. It's an Ultra Pro 900 key. It'll open an Ultra Pro 900 lock like the one on the tool shed. All right, what do we got in here? Well, that rig must be compensating for something. <laughs> I know what you're thinking, and that's not a good idea. Oh, it's C4 chewing gum. This stuff packs quite a wallop, but oh, it is grape. I love grape flavor. On second thought, I better find another use for this. C4 chewing gum! Why? Why, game? Why would you do this? Game! Game, stop! <laughs> Man, I wish I had one of these in my office. Oh my god, this game! Game is destroying me! <laughs> is this? It is. It's actual moonshine. Actual moonshine, interesting. Oh my god. What else we got in here? We got moonshine. Oof. That's real moonshine. With a high enough alcohol content to make you go blind for three days. Margaret must have been a girl who could hold her liquor. Never let chemistry get in the way of a good story. That's true. It's true. Could just be a brand name too, you never know. Made from real moonlight. That's the good stuff. Rusty C4 exploding gum is the ultimate party gag. However, it does have the side effect of possible decapitation. That's a little worrying. Right, I think that's everything to be seen in here then. Alright, so we got some goodies, but nothing we need in the immediacy. So let's head back to the house and keep searching. See what else we can find over there. It's true, it is also a case of Tex being the narrator and you never know how reliable he is. This is Tex we're talking about. A big building right here, but I'm not sure... Oh, there is a doorway to get into it, looks like. Alright, so we can go right through here to get into this. Let's see what we got over this way. Ah, the XBR 1000 greenhouse light. 
They sure grows plants fast, but the FDA banned them because of excess radiation. That's fair. A little dark over here. Yep, garden shears are perfect for trimming grass, bushes, or stubborn branches. All right, we might need those. I wonder if there's a way to get these valerian flowers to grow quickly. Interesting. All right, lots of stuff in here. Holy crap. I think this is the entirety of the area, though. For some reason, I thought this was going to be a whole other place. All right, so I got a bunch of new items there, too. Anything else to grab in here? It's a big sack of seeds. I think we got everything in here for right now, anyway. Check out those items we just got and maybe come back here later. Or maybe we just got all the items we need and we need them somewhere else. Alright, let's take a look at what we got. Good for gardening. I'll need these valerian seeds to blossom into flowers before I can use them in medicine. <laughs> ah, interesting. Did you win yet? No, but we get ever closer. Ever closer. Alright, so... Let's see. I think that's it in here. Doing one more quick check. Palm trees were a nice touch. Hey, Takarosh! Welcome in! How are you doing today? And how's your holiday going? Hope everything is good with you. Nope, nothing else in here. Alright, cool. Let's head back to the house proper and keep looking around in there. We still need to find a way to get that screwdriver eventually. That's a big goal for us. Hello! Mike and I camera. Sucker's game. Another Mike and I camera. Excellent, excellent. Alright. We've been in here. I didn't see anything in this room the first time through. We'll take a quick look. Actually, we did check in those drawers. If there was something in there, we would have got them. All right, Rin, enjoy your lunch. That's true, John. We did. We did kind of botch that. We had the opportunity, and I just walked on by. All for Chelsea, man. So I don't feel like there's anything else to do in here. Well, the text did mention finding another way to get this open. I'm not quite sure what he meant. Do we have to find a way to force it open? I used the garden shoes for that. Man, I don't even know what I was trying. Um, can we use the C4 gum? Uh, maybe that was a little overkill, but it was effective. We found another way, that's what we're looking for. I'm sure Thor's big hammer here could straighten a few things out. We got another hammer? All of that just to get a second hammer? Well, that's weird. We got some Nookie Nookie going there. Here we are. Oh, hello. Hello? Why did we just do that? Why did we zip that couch cushion open? The other one zip open? It does. The zipper on this cushion's stuck. I'll need something to help me open it. Um. Garden shears? Man, I don't even know what I was trying to do. Uh, the pliers? There we go. It's a safe key. Alright, got a safe key, but I don't think we found a locked safe yet. So that's progress, I'll take that. Just trying to double check that I don't have anybody to crouch in the game, I don't think I do. Otherwise, we can just head down there. The explosive flavor did help! The advertisements were true! Plastic explosive bubble gum! You gotta be real careful with that! That's just insanely dangerous. What's a pot for planting seeds? Oh, hey! There we go, now we seem like we're getting somewhere. 
This pot is ready for seeds to be planted in. All right, so let's combine the pot with the seeds. Ding, 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 ding. We have a winner. I'll need to shine a powerful light on this plant to make it grow faster. All right, still progress, progress. All right. What else are we doing here? Check on the other side. Weird looking painting. Aha! It's a safe lock and I'll need a key to open it. There's that safe, all right. Well, the key to the safe is safe with me. Red light, green light, oh god. The picture looks similar to the one downstairs, except the one downstairs had three numbers on it. Well, we do have three numbers, 376. Bingo! Security card. Security card? What do we do with that? And another security card. Like I haven't seen a thousand of these in my life. I don't know. But progress is made. We'll take that. Can't use this fireplace. It's been bricked in. Let's keep looking here. We're gonna check both those drawers. Nothing we can interact with there. Let's see. Nothing we can interact with on the bed. Oh, here we go. What is this? Oh, I love sticky notes, and I just used my last one. Wait, something's written on this one. I think I know what this is. There's a vid phone message code on here. I could use this on a vid phone to retrieve messages. All right, so we should be able to use the vid phone next to the bed now. So let's do that. and combined the valerian flower petals with alcohol in a vial, placed it in the chemical mixer, then administered the serum to the subjects via syringe. However, this only momentarily suppressed rage in the Morlocks. There needs to be a more permanent solution. There are no more messages. All right, so we've got a solution to maybe calm down our Morlock friend, but we're gonna need valerian power flower petals which we've got a valerian plant, we just need to get it to grow. We have uh, moonshine for the alcohol, and I believe we've got an empty syringe. We just need a chemical mixer as well. But hey, that is also progress. I'm happy about that. All right. So, I've got an idea about the uh, plant. We're gonna head back down to the greenhouse. Looks like there could be something hiding underneath this dirt. Actually, yeah, I think you might be right, this little freaky. We got this grow light right here. Can we combine the plant with the grow light? Well, that was stupid. No, for some reason, it, it seems really obvious that it's right there. It says it grows plants quickly, but it doesn't look like we can use it for some reason. It's super weird. Hey, Broken Crow, welcome back. Zombies? I hope not. I hope not. But you never know. Ah, the XBR 1000 greenhouse light. It sure grows plants fast, but the FDA banned them because of excess radiation. Why would it mention that if we can't uh, use it? I'll need to shine a powerful light on this plant to make it grow faster. Super weird. It seems so obvious, and yet we can't actually do anything with it. He's giving me the most generic woman's name, Sarah. Very, very common one, anyway. That was be the one, the first one I jumped to right there. I don't see anything else in here then, so maybe we'll come back later. Um. All right. All right. All right. All right. What else do we need to do here? 
feel like we've searched the mansion pretty well here. Bust out the flashlight and search over on this side of the riverbank. We haven't done a really thorough search. Let's make sure there isn't something else over here we need to see. Oh, I can still hear that busted panel from out here. It's kind of wild. Just the fence right there. We need to get that screwdriver is the next thing. I know that. We need to find some way to get that screwdriver, but I'm not sure what. Like, the tongs seemed like a good guess, but it doesn't look like they're actually going to get us in there. Gotta find something else to do, I suspect. Yeah, let's keep looking. We've got a ton of items right now. None of them quite seem to be the right one, unfortunately. Oh, Malikor, that makes sense. I don't think I've ever met an Alice in person, though, that I can think of. Oh, no, I've probably met... I met a waitress once that was an Alice, I think. That's a thing. Something kind of off about the graphics of the game, but it makes them kind of charming. It is kind of cute. Can you deactivate the secret panel to stop the noise? I don't think so, unfortunately. I think we're stuck with that for the time being. Just going to have to live with it for right now. So, let's take a look at our items again. So we've got the moonshine, and we know what to do with that. We've got the garden shears. I have a feeling that has to do with the plant right here. We've got a hammer. This door size hammer could reshape the world. Not sure what to do with the hammer. Um, we've got a security card. I don't know what to do with that. And the tongs. I'm not sure what to do with those either. Hmm. Hey, Diver! Welcome in, Diver! How are you doing today? Hope everything is going well with you. I have an idea. What are you thinking, Bob? What do you got in mind? I am open to hearing it out. Let's take a look here. I feel like we've been around the house now. We got a good look at everything. I used the tongs on the fireplace. We never did figure out exactly what the fireplace was supposed to do, so. Let's try busting out the tongs, see what happens. <sighs> Let me try something else. Ah, nice fire. Nope, we made a fire. Maybe the fire is part of the ingredients for making the uh, serum later on. I'm not sure. I need to unscrew that cog from the wall before I can repair it. Nope, just nothing we can do there. It's so frustrating. Alright, um... Chanel's probably screaming, yep, here we are. I feel like I could probably get down there if I really wanted to, but for some reason... Hello. What do we have here? I'm gonna make sure I'm not crazy here. Let's go to the options, input. There's a sprint, but there is not a crouch. So yeah, we gotta get that open the rest of the way before we can actually go down there. All right. There's gotta be something else we're missing here. We got in there. That was cool. Uh. Maybe that was a little overkill, but it was effective. Someone could trip over this. That's true. It's very dangerous. All right, so... Must still be something we're missing here. But what? What? What are we missing? Murphy Alchemy! Oh god, Alchemist in Training. That's dangerous. Equivalent Exchange, Tex! Equivalent Exchange. That's rule number one. Alright, so I don't think there's anything else up here. I think we've seen everything in this area. 
Unless one of these big bookshelves has some terrible secret. I don't think so. Nothing there. We already got the stuff out of the safe, so we're good there. Fuck off! The truth? The terrible truth. I don't see anything else in here. We already got what we needed out of the phone, so we're good there. Alright, nothing else up here. These drawers? Those are drawers, but there's nothing in there. I wasn't exactly missing anything there. Good to know, though. I think I missed those the first time around. But there is that, at least. I still don't see anything in here, unfortunately. Is that a hard roller? It probably shouldn't. Absolutely don't. Under no circumstances. Very, very bad idea, I can confirm that. I did try using the tongs to get the- because that seems like what I need to do, to use the tongs, but for some reason I couldn't. And I'm hoping that isn't a bug. But we shall see. Because you know that makes sense is the thing to do. Is use the tongs. Yeah, maybe try something else. No, it's not letting me. Um, we already searched everywhere over here a couple of times. I don't think we're missing anything over here. I am going to take a peek at UHS, I think. Universal Hint System and see what it's got for this one. Because I'm, I'm very worried that there might be a bug here. So let's just make sure. Uh, let's see, we are on day seven. We're at the swamp house. Uh, how do I get the screwdriver in the middle of the stream? No, we did miss something interesting. All right, let's head back into the house then. I don't know how I missed it, but, uh, we missed something. Solution may bug you. It might, it might. I'm going to be curious to see how obvious this thing that I missed is. Because it sounds like screamingly obvious. But we shall see. We go in here. Let's see, was it up here? Maybe? Is that wrong? Aha! I didn't realize there was a closet here! Crap alarm? I've always wanted one of these. They're good for reaching items just out of my grasp or in a dangerous situation. God damn it! All right, yeah, I didn't realize there was a closet here. For some reason, I just didn't even see, either didn't see this or thought this was another uh, exit to the room. Well, that'll do it then. Grapple arm? You're one of those uh, grabber things that you give old people so they can reach the top shelf. All right, that'll do it. That'll do it. Let's go grab that screwdriver and hopefully that'll kickstart a nice chain of events so that we can start using some of these other items we got. Let us see. Let us see. Alright, so it's right there. And just like grandma's for when she needed to reach items in toxic areas. <laughs> very, very obvious hit there. Alright, we got the screwdriver. Cool, cool. Let us see, I would sail on that any day of the week. I would even be the captain of the ship. Sign me the hell up. All right. 
Before we go over this, we need to take the broken gear out with the screwdriver. Screw this. This brand recognized all over the world. All right, we got the broken cog out, so let's take a look at it. I'll need to reshape this metal cog. Well, can we combine metal cog with hammer? Some things are separate for a reason. No, apparently not. Um, can we combine metal cog with fire? Well, maybe I should get something to place the cog in the fire with besides my hand. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, let's combine cog with tongs. Hey, it worked. Now I can place this cog in a fire and reshape it. All right, so let's do that. In this state, the cog is quite malleable. I'll need to find some tools to shape it. Well, we do have that hammer, so let's use that. Beautiful. The cog's fixed and ready to be put back. We can't certainly do that. I like the idea of a screwdriver brand that's actually called Screw This. That's really funny. Also, EP, how are you doing today? I didn't ask, uh, how is your holiday going? Hope everything is good with you. Yeah, Texas uh, figuring out metal working as he goes along here. This cog's repaired and ready to be put back in place. All right, and the basement is now open all the way. Thank goodness for that. Let's save. All right. Let's see what we can find down here. More puzzles, it would appear. Mess around with... Oh! What is that? A big holographic troll? Wow! That Morlock hologram kills anyone who gets too close to the door. You need to find a way to short-circuit him. Well, that's rude. I'm doing good, EP. Thanks for asking. All right, so I'll have to do something with this then. Oh, how does this even work? What do we interact with here? Oh, there's little wheels down here. We need to get all of them green? Is that what we're trying to do? Oh! No, we're so close! So this is the only one I haven't figured out how to raise properly. Now that'll raise it, all right. Now those are out of sync now. There we go. Morlock hologram, and I think I turned the power off uh, now, too. Or screw off or get screwed, those would all work as well. Demon Souls Dark Souls tutorial boss! That did not go well for me in that case. Oh, yeah, the liquid puzzle! Yeah, I remember that one. That one I like that one at the end of the day, though. Yeah, we should probably save before we attempt to go in that water. I don't want to die. But I think we turned off the power, so I think we should be all right. Yeah, we're good, we're good. And then we can drain the water back out. Warning, power failure system offline. So now, we need to go turn the power back on. This drain perfectly symbolizes my life. Tax. All right. 
Swipe card to enter. We do have a card. There we go. Yeah, Margaret made sure this place was soundproof. All right. Take a look in here, see what we got. There's more books in here than in my county library. Curse government spending cuts. Curse it! Hmm. Person plus injection equals peace. Well, that's about as simple as it gets. It's a chemical mixer for creating medicine. I'll need to place a vial filled with alcohol and valerian flowers in here to create medicine for mantis. All right. We can do that. We can do that. We just need to finish making the flowers is the next thing. Complicated looking machine. That's the Interocitor IQ measurement system. I should try this baby out and see what a genius I am. Uh, don't text. You may not like what you find. Dr. Zaius was right. A man like you is inferior to the simian in every way. Ouch. <laughs> this like mist with in internal dialogue. It kind of is. It kind of is. And welcome in PRM. How are you doing today? Hope you are having a good holiday. Now there's something you don't typically see in a residential home. Not usually. No, this is true. There's blood all over the floor. It doesn't look fresh, but it's troubling. Yeah, that is. That is. The glass is shattered. Was something trying to get in or out? Let's see. Who is that talking to Tex anyway? So that is his smart Alex, his personal assistant. Idiot savant is usually a positive term. What it said there is that the idiot savant is really good at one thing and terrible at everything else, which that does describe Tex pretty well. What do we got over here? I've assembled the spirit radio. Tonight will be my first attempt to contact my husband. The radio is working. I hear voices that are incoherent, uh, eerie, and uh, tantalizing. There must be some way to amplify the power. <sighs> My last attempt was a near disaster, similar to what happened to Tesla back in 1899. The frequency caused a vibration that increased until I, oh, I thought the house would split in two. I had to smash the radio. Now I have to start all over. I don't want to get my hopes too high, but I believe I've made contact. I brought the radio into the lab, and I swear that being close to Charles's cryo chamber has intensified the signal. I'm sure it's his voice, but I can't understand what he's saying. I've recorded hours of the voice and had experts analyze the audio from every angle. We've deciphered three words. Void, return, immortal. I've reached an impasse. I wonder if the Tesla egg, could it amplify the radio's power? It's been weeks since I've heard Charles's voice on the spirit radio. I wonder if the Gideon parasites have moved ahead without me and brought him back to life. It's been years since I made an entry in this video journal. Charles is dead and lost to me forever. And uh, I will die soon. The translator lives, and one way or another, whoever sees this, Mantis, Mason, it's up to you to stop the translator. Stopping the translator isn't going to be easy, and the Tesla egg and spirit radio seem to be the keys. Somehow, the information Margaret Leonard took to the grave needs to be uncovered. Is that even possible? I have an eerie feeling it is. Is that June Lockhart? I know they usually do have some minorly famous people in here, which is interesting. 
I think there was an attempt to make us some sort of spirit radio at some point, but I don't think anything ever came of it. Kind of pseudoscience thing. Let's see. Played the hell out of Tex Murphy's Under a Killing Moon. Oh my god. I, I played that for my first time on stream. I had a blast with it. Such a cool game. Absolutely fantastic. Loved that one. And I've been working my way through the series ever since. It is June Lockhart. Holy crap. That's wild. That is wild. They get some interesting characters in these games. It's my apartment from my old UI of you days. Oh, I saw a drawer here, too. If there's anything in either of these. Nope, nothing in there. Alright, so in that case... We do still need... To find some way to grow that valerian plant. And I have a sneaking suspicion that the key to that is in the greenhouse. So we'll probably have to head back upstairs until we can get that grown. Once we have that, we'll actually have all the components we need. This machine monitors electrical activity in your heart. We'll have all the components we need to actually start making the serum. Which will be a good thing. Looks like something unethical happened in here. I'll say so, I'll say so. Ah, good catch there, Lee, too. Nice, nice. Let's see if there wasn't anything else in here. It was just that puzzle which we already solved. Alright, so back to the greenhouse then. I really do feel like it's got something to do with that light that just says it grows plants, but I'm not sure why it's not letting me do anything with it. Unless there's some somewhere else in the greenhouse that I'm just missing? Ah, the XBR 1000 greenhouse light. It sure grows plants fast, but the FDA banned them because of excess radiation. It seems super obvious that that's supposed to be what we gotta use, but... That accomplished nothing. So weird. Alright, um... Well, I might very well be missing something. I'm going to take another peek at UHS. See what they got there. Um, how do I get some valerian? We got the seeds. We got the fertile soil. We got the tiny sprout. Oh, it's an empty box. All right. That's why we can't do anything with it. All right, the box is empty. That's unfortunate. All right, so take a look around here. Oh, there's a light switch right here, though. Ah, there it is. All right, so let's see if we can put the plot, plot, potted plant right there. That'll do? That'll do? I need something to cut off a valerian blossom from this plant. Alright, well we do have something for that. We've got these garden shears. Well, that might come in handy. Beautiful, alright. So I think we have everything we need to go make the formula now, so let's go do that. Little Shop of Horrors indeed. I think that was actually, uh, the, the name of this chapter was actually a pun. A little shop of horrors, I believe. Fantastic uh, movie slash play, depending on what you've seen. Feed me, Seymour, or as it would be, Tex Murphy. <laughs> Alright, so let's save before we start this, because I don't want to mess anything up. Alright, so... Let's, see, let's go ahead and use the valerian flower. Valerian flowers, when placed in a vial and combined with alcohol, could be used to create medical ingredients. Oh, all right, so we got to put it in the vial first, it sounds like. So let's do that. Well, yeah, that'll work. Guess I better not be too creative, because it won't work. Oh, I was trying to look at it, my bad. Um, 
Well, I'm almost there. I just need to add some alcohol to bring out the medicinal ability of the Valerian flowers. We could do that. We do have some moonshine. I got to admit, sometimes when you play God, things turn out okay. All right, take care of yourself, Lost. Thanks so much for hanging around. You have a good rest and we'll see you around. Little school of horrors. That was it. Thank you. Thank you. I need to place this in a chemical mixer to create medicine for Mantis. All right, well, luckily we have one right here. Well, hell, that ought to do it. This medicine should control Mantis' pain. All right, so what do we do next? Or did we actually get it already? We did! Well, hell, that ought to do it. This medicine should control Mantis' pain. All right, so now we just need to find a mantis, I assume. Let's head outside. We saw him outside the greenhouse, I believe, last time we saw him. All right, take care of yourself, Gamma Gumo. Thanks for hanging around, as always, and we will see you around. Oh, mantis! Where you at, buddy? I waited near the front door, ready for him to show up. But, uh, not as ready as I should have been. Sorry. Sorry. I can't control it. Tell you what. Give me the Tesla egg. We'll call it even. You're the one that prays, aren't you? Yes. I am Mantis. Mantis, as in praying mantis. Yeah, serves me right for not being religious. That was Margaret's code. So she did see me. Hmm. It just seems strange she took such a risk coming to see you. So she could give you the injection. How do you know about that? Because I was there. And she wanted you to forget everything you had done. <sighs> yeah, well, she pretty much accomplished that. Yeah. And here you are. Seems kind of strange. Strange? You know what I find strange? I saw a video of Margaret torturing you. She wasn't torturing me. She had been helping me for a very long time. But you're a Morlock. She made you this way. You can't blame her. I chose this path. I volunteered to take one of the greatest technological leaps of all time. Crawl technology. I was one of the founding members of the Tesla Legacy Society. Along with others, I allowed myself to die and be brought back. We dreamed of waking to a world reborn. But we found ourselves worse off than before. And worst of all, we no longer were the people we had been. The cry sleep had unforeseen complications. Well, at least cryogenics is now partially covered under major medical. <laughs> Only a few of us escaped the physical deformities from the freeze. Worse is what it did to our minds. Drove us to madness. So how come the Tesla Society hasn't taken care of you guys? Certainly the burden shouldn't just fall on Margaret. The Tesla Lega Society and its creations are no more. So what happened? I mean, I know a little of your history since Charles Johansson joined you. Johansson. I believed in him once. He was our martyr. We carried his work to the foot of his holy cryo chamber. We knew that one day he would return to take us to this glorious future. And he did return. Yeah, he was now the translator. He was delusional only as the greatest zealots are. He believed he knew the will of Tesla. He was gonna create a gateway, a celestial conduit between heaven and earth. He called it the immortal coil. Gotcha. He was determined to build it at any cost. And in the end, we banished him from the society. But he didn't stay banished. Months later, he returned with a small group of men led by the one known as Slade. They attacked the facility, sparing no one. I saw Slade himself put a gun to my wife's head why she begged for her life. 
He pulled the trigger. When it was over, they removed every trace of the Tesla Legacy Society. Its files, its equipment. There was only one thing left behind. And that was? A key bit of information. The spirit radio frequencies. They were stored in the clouds that Charles never knew about. And these were important? It may be the only way to stop Charles from activating the immortal coil. And that would be... bad? It's very bad. As a split of the planet in two bad. I'll tell you where to find the egg. But I need you to find those frequencies first. Before I head off to the Tesla Legacy Society, I get a call from Thompson Ald inviting me over to his house. Sounds like he's ready to talk. Finally! Any luck locating the spirit radio? I've got some leads, but it all seems to tie to something called the Immortal Coil. I found something that you might find interesting. They did some experiments with interfacing brain circuitry. You might have been one of the first test subjects. I'm sorry. Memories are simply electronic impulses. And we are the sum of our own memories. Now, on a cellular level, you're a completely different person than you were seven years ago. But your essence is exactly the same as it was that night with Chelsea outside of the Golden Pagoda. How do you know about Chelsea? Well, first, and you may already know this, Chelsea is Margaret Leonard's daughter. Now, Margaret had lost her husband and she was overwhelmed. So she put Chelsea in the care of a mutant family, the Bandos, and then tried to forget that she'd ever had a child. That's pretty cold. What? Well, it was a decision that she's regretted for decades. And years later, when she found Chelsea living at the Ritz, she rented a room so she could be close, but never revealed her true identity. Yeah, and that's why we got abducted. Now, Margaret was being funded by Gideon Enterprises, and an opportunistic manager named Dalton Fisk found out that Margaret's husband had stolen some very important documents. The Tesla cash. Dalton tried forcing Margaret into reanimating Charles, but she refused and disappeared. But then Dalton discovered that she had a daughter, and he came after her. Now, I don't know if her memory has been manipulated or if it's so painful that she can't share it, but I do know that she's left her old life behind. So Chelsea's alive, and you know that for sure? I do. She's my wife. All right, what? You married my girlfriend? Mason asked me to look after her for protection. Which reminds me, I meant to get you the canister. Whoa, wait a second. I mean, you're going to finish this, right? There's other parts of the story. Margaret didn't want to know where she had gone. Chelsea needed someone, and we grew quite fond of each other. We had a good life together. But you see, I'd been in love with someone who couldn't return my feelings. And so I'd come to accept my bachelorhood. You know, somehow, marrying Chelsea just felt like the right thing to do. Yeah, but I'm in love with Chelsea, and you're married to her. What happens next? I'll tell you what happens now. How about we go get that cryo chamber with old Maggie's head in it? We can't let him have it. Oh, hold on, partner there. No need to get violent or anything. Let's just see if we can work this out, okay? God. Oh, up there, is it? You hurt pretty bad. We've got to get you to the hospital. No, you have to stop him. If they get inside her head, it will undo everything that Mason was fighting for. Look, I know what they're after, and I think I can beat him to it. It's the Tesla egg, so let's just get you out of here. Go! Go! You're coming with me. Come on. I couldn't shake the look of fear I saw in Alt's eyes as he was lying in a pool of his own blood. Slade had blown a hole through the little man without even a second thought. Could I really have been partners with someone like that? Maybe I did change over the last seven years, but if I did, it has to be possible to change back. 
I need a weapon I can use against these psychopaths. I knew my only hope was somewhere at the Tesla Institute. Slade's trumped me at every corner, but the ace may be at Tesla. Day eight. Control Alt Delete or there will be blood and more. All right. Wow, that was some revelations. I didn't expect a plot twist involving Chelsea. Of all things, it's pretty wild. Yeah, everywhere text goes, people seem to end up dying. That is the truth. Probably not a coincidence either. Texas doing really dangerous stuff all the time. All right. All this and more coming up on Meat Check, the sequel. <laughs> all right, folks. I think this is probably going to be where we want to stop for the day. Uh, but once again, we've made some really good progress. And uh, I'm, I'm still enjoying the hell out of this game. I hope you folks are as well, although I did get stuck on some puzzles today. My apologies. Uh, so this is the last stream for the week, so we will be picking this up next week on Friday. And I don't know if it's going to be possible to beat it then, but I'm going to try. I will definitely take a crack at it, so I hope you will join me for that. Fantastic to see how all the tech stuff hangs together. It is cool. They're really... Weaving everything in place with this one, which is exciting to see after how far we come with the series. I do like that. Yeah, we're, we're going to be streaming on New Year's Eve, basically. So uh, if you got nothing else to do, I'd love to have you here. Are we still doing occasional Thursday streams? We're not, unfortunately. I need my time off. But uh, we're not doing pretty much anything for the next couple of weeks, aside from the Friday stream, because I'm going to be working a lot of overtime. But more about that next week, unfortunately. Uh, so thanks again for joining me. This has been a blast today. Holy crap, this game is wild. And I hope you will join me next week as we continue. Hopefully finish it too. We'll see. Uh, but hey, before we take off, I do have one last thing to do before we call it a night. And of course, that is... Let's see who all else is online. So if you're not done watching Twitch for the day, maybe we can find somebody else for you to watch. So, of course, make sure to hit follow if you haven't already, but that'll be the quickest way to find me should you want to watch more in the future, including the uh, ending of this game. And uh, while I'm looking to see who all is live, there are some links in chat you might want to check out if you haven't seen them already. We have a link to my Twitter if you want to see what I'm up to outside of the stream. We have a link to my YouTube if you want to see any of the games I've played in the past or if you just want to get yourself caught up on Tex Murphy, this game, or the rest of the series. And we've got a link to my Discord if you would like to chat with myself or the rest of the community outside of this stream. Everyone is welcome there. Feel free to join me. And I think I see where we are going. Somebody we don't actually get to raid very often. This is actually pretty cool. So, folks, I would love it. If you join me as we go say hello to a streamer by the name of PMC Trilogy. He is a cool retro streamer, sometimes does some speedruns, sometimes not. And today it looks like he is playing some Parasite Eve, an absolute classic of the RPG genre. Very much underappreciated, very much due for a sequel, remaster, or at least a good port, I think. Fingers crossed for that. So why don't you join me over there, say hi to PMC. Hang out for a little bit, throw him a follow if you like what he's doing. But hey, if you've got other things to do, I will just say as I always do. Have a good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you're at in the world. And I will see you folks next week for more Tex Murphy. Take care of yourselves. Till then, everybody. <laughs>